All right, another successful mission. This looks strangely uncomfortable. Can you ask the raptor for motivation, please? Okay. Uh, she's very photogenic. Nothing can stop us now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's Chip and Dale. How are you guys doing? Hello, Grogu. Universal Orlando Resort, Earl the Squirrel needs his own Christmas tree over here for the meet and greet. I think so. I think we're going to make that happen. Four of you have tried to kill me in the past. One of you succeeded. Oh, wow. Do you think the people on the moon ever look over and say, wow? It's a full spaceship Earth tonight. Well, welcome back to the sign, welcoming you to the Universal Orlando Resort. Terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> Hiya, Scooby. We're here at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort with the newly opened Kona, I don't remember what it's called. Good morning, Magic Crew. Welcome in, guys. Coming to you live from the Universal Orlando Resort here. Glad you guys could join us. Glad we could finally get started. And uh, we got our lift here. Had a little bit of traffic on I-4. It's just Florida life here. And uh, then we get in here and realize that everything that had been plugged in last night, the charge, whatever I plugged into obviously wasn't working because all of my equipment needed to be like fully charged. So we're gonna be walking around fully, uh, fully on floaty today. So that's just the life it is when it comes to live streaming. Welcome in guys, glad you could jo join us here as we hang out here at Universal today. If this is the first time you've ever joined us live or in replay, my name's Chris. I'm your Universal travel agent in the parks. And I'll be your camera operator. I got with me my two boys. I got Owen over here on my left to make sure I don't run into anybody as I can't see on my left side. And Caleb's with us here today. He's got his uh, See You in the Fog uh, Halloween Horror Nights cup holder. So we're gonna be charging our uh, Coca-Cola freestyle cups as we get in so the boys can stay hydrated and uh, take advantage of uh, that that you can do here at Universal. Love it that they can drink all day long and not have to worry about whether or not uh, they are hydrated or not. So, welcome in everybody. If you're new to us here at Ear to Ear Magic, we stream every Monday through Friday and glad to have you guys with us here in the parks at Universal Orlando Resort or the Disney Parks or wherever else we might go for fun. So, thank you guys so much for popping in. Jump into the live stream, meet some new friends, have some fun chatting today. And if you have a good time hanging out with what we call our Magic Crew, we'd love for you guys to be a part of the Magic Crew moving forward. Take a couple of seconds, hit that subscribe button and be a part of our 26,100 plus Magic Crew members who can have some fun with us here in the parks every Monday through Friday. So welcome in everybody. Now, before we get into the parks and further into City Walk, the boys wanted to come over and check this out. Can you survive Five Nights at Freddy's? Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, I don't know. I'm not as big into this as they have been. Um, I know that it used to, they, the Liberty's never played it, but she is um, obviously has some uh, experience watching you guys play before. But are you guys excited about the fact that they've actually come out, out with a Five Nights at Freddy movie? Honestly, I think it, I'm pretty excited. What's with the char character with the candle on his head? That's, that is just the cupcake. That's just the cupcake that's Chica holds. Yeah. So she cool. always holds a plate with a cupcake on it. That's the cupcake. In some games, they decided the cupcake's to make the alive. 
Yeah, some I, game I today, guess. Some game I mean, today, I the guess cupcake today. doesn't hurt people, does it? I don't know. Cup no, it's that's wrong. That's wrong. It's cupcake. Cupcakes are friendly. Cupcakes make people smile. Most of the time, it's just a nuisance of anything. Oh, see, I'm already not so happy about this. Five Nights at Freddy's. Who? He's gonna, he's gonna watch the movie. The scary. He's gonna, the scary part this, for him is when the when the cupcake, cupcake attacks, attacks me. Are you guys? Uh, are you guys gonna go see it? I I I would be up to seeing it. Like I'm not a horror is this, movie guy. Is this but... a horror movie? Is this gonna be like really really scary? I don't know. I mean, it, it's uh, producers of Megan are supporting it. And also oh. Blumhouse worked on it. It's so. a Blumhouse production. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be. Say, I'm not the biggest fan of the big glowing eyes. I do like that they at least gave Freddy the blue pupils. Like, used is that to, is, which, it, is he supposed to have blue pupils? Well, used to they were just like very red glowing. Like, oh, look, well, look. a lot of the trailers have them just having glowing red eyes, right? Yeah, and I think as much as I see why, it's just a bit glowing cliche. red eyes make them look scary. So, the, the whole original Terry film. wants to go see it. Who else is going to go see Five Nights at Freddy's? The one thing that made Five Nights at Freddy's like take off was just the scariness wasn't like innately in your face. It was creepy. Like It was, it was just play. jump scares, really, right? Yeah. There was no gore or anything in the original games. It was really I mean, just it was jump scares you just and, being in a room and then the characters would just jump at you and, and you I die. the game over screen had you just like... Yeah, I think it was also like the atmosphere of it. Like, like there's nothing more iconic than the Five Nights at Freddy's so, atmosphere. Something tells me, good morning, Cooper Big G. Something tells me the Five Nights at Freddy's is going to have some jump scares in it. Yeah, I, I mean, I that's think, what the game was be. based on, right? So. I think it would be extremely weird if they were not. Kato says, that's those ridiculous bears I keep seeing on TikTok. It's always the bears, right? The bears in the parks, the bears in the pizza places. It's always the bears. Why do the bears get such a bad, you know, reputation? The bears. All right, let's pop, let's pop through the Universal Studios store because um, it's air conditioned. Let's just be honest. Hey, look, I've seen those before. Tony, next Friday is Friday the 13th. Ooh, we have a Friday the 13th in October. Perfect. That works out well. Charles says, I'm going to pass on Freddy. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for Freddy. The question is, will I, will I do it? Will I? Go see uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh oh, uh -oh. blind guy knocks over all the glasses. Souvenir guitar sipper. I wonder how much that holds. Or how do you even get four ounces? It holds four ounces. How, that thing how, is tiny. How do you even get like liquid into it? Do you open up that part right there? I don't know. I think it maybe it right it there, yeah. right there. It's so confusing this time. Hello, EXP. How are you? Oh, I can see what they're going for. Good morning, John. Um, Naomi, what do you think? This doesn't fit in the drink thingy, though. No, it would this not will not fit in the drink thingy. I mean, it has its own lanyard on it. It has its own, it has its own That's lanyard. That's probably why they went with a guitar. So it has its own lanyard because most guitars have that kind of string. To but like here's the thing, guys. Shoulder. You need this for reference. You see how big it is? This is how big it is. It's, it's like not, it's not very big. It's. $24. Notice, drink is not included. Wow. That's. Huh. Oh, they have them down here. I'm like looking in the case. They have it right here. It's a tiny guitar. There's nothing in it. So right now it's just an air guitar. Where is the opening? I want to know. Oh, it's going to find out. For scientific purposes. Welcome, SK. Good morning. Good morning. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, well, here's the thing. At least it's not 3D, Tony, right? 
You can twist it this way. <laughs> At least if it's a scary movie, you only have to cover one eye. I think you just twist it off. Yeah, it, st it stops you whenever I go to this point, so I'm afraid to continue it further because it doesn't. If you do, you're gonna have to buy it. Yeah. So obviously, I think you just twist it. Off. Okay. That's still a little. That's still a little gap for putting it's stuff up. in it, though. All right. Here's my thing: is I, I, I know. Okay, let's just be honest. Once you put the initial drink in and drink out of it, uh, you're never going to put another drink in it again. But if you did, how in the world would you clean that? Wait, the question, the answer is you wouldn't. There's no way to clean that once it's. This, this is this is a cluster of what? How did we get here? My questions. Morning, Red Rob G. Good to see you. Me and my life. How are you doing today? Interesting. That's the only thing I can say. Interesting. Interesting. Melanie's going into uh, uh, ninja mode. Thanks for saying hi. Look, Revenge of the Dead Coconut Club. That's a kind of a cool Ringo shirt. I like the displays. By the way, now that it's October, is anyone in chat setting up for Halloween or getting uh, getting ready? Fully gotten your Halloween decor up yet? This is the hat that came out last year, and I really wanted one. Then they sold out, Owen. They sold out of the hat. I had to wait to the very end of the season. Travis showed it to me when it came back in stock, and I was so excited to get it, and then I tried it on. It's not good? No. My big head, even at the largest size, it's not big enough to fit on my head. It just kind of sits on top. It's too big for little boo. Yeah, a little boo. It's a little boo hat, so it doesn't fit on me. So, welcome man, Ryan's. Is this entire shelf of Booty? This is. This is has no on it. My brother's birthday is October 13th. Oh, yeah. That is actually a really cool hoodie. I like the design of that one. This is um, nice. Now, if only they hang it up showing the front, but it's really the back that's the selling point. And you got a, 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 a shirt with the same design. Now, there is a bag that goes like this, too. I don't know if they have it here. Uh, Liberty hasn't seen it yet, but we I have a feeling that she would probably fall all over it Because there's a little the 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 bird is a little change purse bag that, that hangs by a uh... See I like that shirt. What's the front say? It's the same as the height. Like. Oh. See I, the design in the middle I'd like it, I'd like it better if it was off to the side, but that's a yeah, cool design. Like maybe if it was here, if it was smaller, not like right here, or if it was like bigger, like it took up the entire shirt. I mean, that's a, I mean, that's a, yeah. But I like the, I like the, the design of it. How much is the hoodie? Naomi wants to know. Uh, 60 bucks. $60. $60. And how much is the shirt? 33 so. 33 you like the design, but don't want to pay. It's a good thing. $33 for the shirt, 60 twice as much for the hoodie. Go for it. Let's go for that. Andy says they're setting up their Halloween display at Fort Wilderness on Sunday. Sweet. We're going to be uh, actually setting up a um, uh, a live stream to go to the uh, Fort Wilderness to show you guys some of the Halloween decor and Halloween displays. So we'll have to figure out when we can get that done. Maybe we can catch you guys' display on our stream. How long are you guys going to be around? Just buy a stole. Jackie's like, I want the Hello Kitty Chucky bad. I wonder if they have it over there. In the Chucky area. Yeah, that's the two Hello things Kitty. they combined? Yeah, well notice they uh, we'll go in the Hello Kitty with everything. Yeah, they combine everything with Hello Kitty lately. We'll uh we'll go check it out. We're gonna be going into the Hello Kitty store today because Cake Toast wants to go, I've heard. So um but we're going to be looking for a little boo everywhere, and I'm sure they'll hide a little boo in that store as well. Did they decorate the mini golf to Halloween? No, I don't I think mean, they did. It's, kind of it's already like kind of Halloween-y. Yeah, one of them is already kind of slightly spooky. Let's go check out the Chucky stuff over here and see if they have the little Hello Kitty bag. Don't see it. By the way, I finally watched, and we talked about this the other day, I finally watched Child's Play 2. I've never seen it. I've never watched these movies as a kid because they scared me. So I finally watched it. It wasn't all that bad. But uh, it was really bad, really bad ads on it. Uh, the mini golf is an additional price. It is an additional price. 
I think our passes, we get a uh, discount on it. But, well, that's nice. Have guests over. Get your drink down. I think the funniest thing about Dad watching Child's Play 2 was the ads that were scattered through it. Yeah, they had ads. Child's Play 2 is, 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 is about... Um, the little boy um, being Andy being uh, taken from his mother because of the incidents that happened in the first movie and they put him in a foster home and then Chucky terrorizes and does terrible terrible things to the foster family and every time something would happen they'd cut to a commercial and the sponsors not sponsors for the movie but whatever they put in there um, was uh, for adoption is adoption is love adoption is love dot com I'm like, that is terrible ad placement. Terrible ad placement. Bring in a child who needs your love. Now back to Child's Play 2. No, Chucky, no! It was like, just, just, okay. That was just weird. He is, we love little Boo. He's another one of the little characters that they have sort of adopted here at Universal Studios Orlando. Uh, just because of his inclusion in recent years. Here's our Minions popcorn bucket. This is this is a small criticism I have. I feel like they have... Um, what's his name? Stuart? I don't... This is Bob. Bob. Bob! When it comes Bob. to the popcorn buckets, they just have Bob, but they have, like, different variations. Of I think they just kind of work... I think they just kind of change out what's on Bob. Yeah, it's either on his head head or in his head, that's it. Yeah, they can change his arms and whatever goes on his head. I mean, I mean, maybe that's it's still cute. I mean, that, maybe that's an unfair criticism considering that most of like Disney World buckets are just literally a bucket with the same thing and we just want to like you know. Had to do some research on today's lunch. Do we have a lunch poll up already? I will check. Don't tell I mean, us. Talking, don't tell us insane. what's in there because it's going to be a surprise, but what do we have over here? Oh, cool! Look, they have different Minions things for Halloween, including Mis Minion Monsters Mystery Pin Set. Yep, the pool is Count, up. Count Dave Acula. Mummy Stewart. Stewart's going to get one. That's not Stewart, then. That must be... They just said that's Bob. Monster Bob. Feature, uh, uh, feature Mel. And then there's a rare one. It's a chaser. It's Zombie Tim, the bear. Two pins, 20 bucks, mystery pin set. But you can get some of the monster plushes. Here's Mummy Stewart. Yeah, so the pole is up. With a, with, with a theme. With a theme? Oh, don't tell me what the theme is. I'm not telling you what the theme oh, is. Oh, no! I'm at it. Tim is losing his stuffing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's cute. All right, let's let's. I mean, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is Bob again. He's got his. Is it the same size? Is it the same character? Let's do a side by side. Take me on. Is it the same? Okay, with well, that one is slightly. That smaller, one's smaller. But in terms of the design itself. It pretty much is the same Carry except out. for the arms and then they added a hat. Yeah. So it's a little different, but this one's even smaller. Ah! I'll take a bite. And then they have oh cool, look. They have other monster ones, monster minions. Here's a headband. This guy's cute. Check him out. Ah! And put the camera up. He's even got the bolts coming out of his head. That's pretty cool. Andy's mom loves the minions. They're so adorable. Welcome in, Firefly. Firefly is letting all of the other Magic Crew cast who have not voted for lunch today know that going for the third option. What are you guys voting for? Hot dogs and french fries. Woohoo! Jill's gonna be voting for the third option. He's pretty big. The, min the monster minions. How much is this guy? 25. That's actually not bad That's for a plush. For 
that size. that size. I was expecting it to be more than that. Cute minions. That almost looks like a Hello Kitty mat. Uh, because it looks like, what's, what, I don't know the characters, the San Rio the, characters. The, the, he looks like the frog. The frog. You know what I'm talking about? Skippy? I don't know. Karapi? I don't know. I have no idea what their names are. Take on me. Welcome in Quest 360. Getting some great copyright music in today's stream gonna copyright it right up from the beginning so there's no no worries about it for the rest of the stream thank you guys for hitting the thumbs up for us today the more thumbs up we get the more likes we get the more it is that youtube will recommend our channel and our stream to others who may have never hung out with us here before and you guys make it possible for us to find new friends new family new magic crew members every time you do so so thank you guys so much for the thumbs up I don't know if there's a boo in this shop, is there? Oh, there is. Dude. Can we need to pick up a thing here? Dad? Can you get a map here? That's a boo. Did you find him? Did you find the first one? Caleb Caleb found the first boo. That's a little boo. Is it not? I mean, I don't He's just kind of hiding. He is. He's hiding in the, the whole thing there. He's like got the whole outfit on. I wasn't paying attention to that. I Man, good eye, dude. He is. Little Boo is hanging out there. He's dressed in an outfit that looks exactly like the background. So, you see any uh, thing about the maps up on the desks or the registers? Well, we know where that one is, though. Yeah, I mean, like, we could just automatically fill it in. Up somewhere else and yeah. then we just automatically put it on. Looking for a little boo. That's what we're going to be looking for. That is easy to miss if you're not looking out for it. Get a photo. You can go back and look at it if you need to. Kind of cool, dude. Good eye. Camo. <laughs> Caleb found him in his camo. I would have walked right past him. I wouldn't have even thought to look for him in here. All right, let's head on in. You guys are just popping in. Welcome. Universal Orlando Resort. Popping by Voodoo Donut. I haven't had a Memphis Mafia in so long. Last time I went in to get donuts for the kids, I asked for a Memphis Mafia, and they're like, oh, we sold out of them already today. And I'm like, ah. Oh. What's that again? The Memphis Mafia? Yeah. It's a... Peanut, I think it's an apple. I don't want to escalate it without the Apple, I, caramel, um, like, like a bear, not a bear claw even. It's um, like an apple turnover kind of, I cannot even remember anymore. <laughs> no, not you can hear it this time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess it's a little hard. Wait, are we, are we in Hollywood Studios? Yeah, I, was, I think it's the wrong song. It's hard. Walk this way! Our globe is not uh, spinning today. Uh, but it's perfectly placed for pictures in the background. This will greatly affect trout season. <laughs> oh, it's windy. Thank you, Lauren B, for voting in the lunch poll today. If you guys are coming in, everyone can look at the top of their live chat. And remember, guys, when you're chatting, a couple of things to remember if you guys haven't ever done so. Make sure that you're, first of all, that your stream settings are set to 1080. Whenever we have the best signal, we will be streaming in 1080. So sometimes your YouTube may default to 720 or even lower. 
So if you know how to, make sure to check the show that your stream quality is at 1080. Second, if you've never done so, at the top of the chat box, you may see something that says either live chat or top chat. If it says top chat, you'll need to click that little drop down and go to live chat. Top chat actually changes the way you see what comments come up and it may affect what you see and you may not be able to see everybody's comments. So make sure to check your stream quality to 1080 and change the top of your chat to live chat. So you can see everybody's chat as they are making their comments. And welcome in everybody. Galen! Guys, we don't have it until 5 p.m. to find all the news. <laughs> Naomi's having HHN PSR PTSD. Her feet are hurting just thinking about it. Oh, uh, my I, my feet were so sore coming out of that. We walked around so much. Am I stepping up? I want to make sure I don't step onto something. Pick us a good line, guys. I want to say thank you to everybody who has checked out getting a circle uh, using the circle link that we've been providing. It gets you a $5 off your first order if you guys are interested in the circle bottles. Gets you five dollars off, and every time you guys do that, it actually provides us a chance to get uh, free cartridges. So you save a little bit of money, and you help us save a little bit of money too when we come to the parks and stay hydrated using the circle bottles. We really enjoy it, and uh, thank you guys for checking it out when you're interested. A band is coming for the first time in January. Uh, Chris, when does Universal switch over to Christmas? It's usually about the end of the second week of November. Uh, I don't have the official date in my head right now. It may have already been announced, but I didn't catch it because, you know, I've been a little off lately from uh, medical reasons. But. It's usually the second Friday in November. So it's probably gonna be the Friday after Wine and Dine Weekend. We're gonna be having uh, Macy's Holiday Parade. Earl the Squirrel should be back. The Grinch will arrive. Hello. Welcome in, Kayla. How are you doing today? Good to see you. All right, let's go on into the Universal Studios store because I think we need to get our little boo map like immediately and get started with that. And then uh, we'll get our cups activated so everybody can get drinks when they need to. But first, hello, hello. Oh, it's good you guys can't smell this because it would get you in so much trouble. It smells so good in here. Yeah, we're only talking about five weeks to Earl the Squirrel. It's it's going to be happening in no time. So, and, he he he, look, it's a little boo in a cookie form. I may have to treat the boys to a little boo cookie today once we do the scavenger hunt. Ooh, feels good. So Kayla, yesterday, 
Uh, the appointment went okay. Uh, they took pictures of my eye, they did some scans, they checked the pressure, pressure was good. Uh, everything overall was fine, except for one thing, which of course, you know, it only takes one thing to kind of throw it off. Uh, the doc noticed that I have a pocket of fluid, as she described, a pocket of fluid that is behind my retina. Small pocket. She says it could easily uh, be absorbed by the body and it would be fine. But if it does not get absorbed or it actually gets larger, it's gonna cause some concerns and issues with my recovery. So instead of coming back for our final uh, appointment in a month, um, we're gonna have to come back in two weeks. And if things aren't looking better, if that fluid is still causing problems, we may have to have further surgery, uh, some laser work, or I may even have to have a, a more in-depth recovery option from surgery. They may have to put a bubble, another bubble of oil in my eye, which will stay there for three months. It does not get absorbed by the body and will have to be actually physically removed after three months. So Hello. doing good. We're looking for the little boo maps. For the scavenger hunt? Yeah, they're Perfect. $15. You want, a, you want a set of those? Yes, please. Um, talking about that. <laughs> He's just not right there. Uh, you found him? Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's really well. He, look at this. Are He's all these hiding. Are all in different places. Some but, of them are up on the top, some of them are hidden. Oh my gosh, that is that such is a so great well place to hide him. I never knew he was such a good hider. This may actually be tough. This is uh, this is looking to be kind of fun. All right, Owen, I'm going to let you pay for the map. You come on this side, or you can walk that way too. It's going to be thirteen eighty five. All right, Three and to, uh, oh, from local. Hang on, who's that? Davenport. Davenport, not too <laughs> so far at all. And oh, sorry, there's no discount. On. No discount? Okay. No problem. Always, always good to ask, just in case. So, look at how he's hiding. He's hiding right there. Cool. So, we're going to be using this map to look at locations where he's hiding all over. Is it both in Islands of Adventure and Park? And City Walk. So, we're going to be taking you guys everywhere today. Uh, we're going to find him. And uh, once we get done, we actually get a little sun catcher as our prize for the scavenger hunt. And I think uh, if we complete it today, I might actually give the, get the boys a little boo cookie as well, because those look pretty awesome. Yeah, here's your sun catcher. Got it? Okay, I got to get a photo of this guy. Look at this. That is such a great Don't blame, camouflage. Bro. Don't blink. Let me get the cat hat out. <laughs> Dude, I, I would not even have noticed him. And we're actually in the perfect spot for him too because it lines up just perfectly. Now, do you guys ever get scared? Do you ever turn around and forget he's there? He kind of sneaks up on you? <laughs> I was to say, if you're, see, if I had stood here, it would have popped out. But when you guys pointed it out, he is perfectly lined up where we're standing with the frame. You can't even see him. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Let's go, find, let's go find that little boo. So we found two of them already. So let's uh, let's stop for a second, look at our map, and see how this is going to work. Um, all right, so no discount on the little boo maps. That's good to know. I'm going to grab the receipt and the card. And Owen wanted to explain to us on the map what we got to do. I am actually okay. Find all the clues on this tree bag and soft to the praise. Match the icon to the letter of each location to reveal the praise. Match the icons. So there's something where it's not a sticker kind of situation. Yeah, it's actually each location. There's an icon. Where's the icon found? To the letter at each location. So where do you locate the icon? Oh. Um. Yeah, 
They did, Rob. They really did. Okay. Well, Little boot and birch. Is there something on him? Yeah, there's no. So let me actually read it because let me see what's going on here. All right. Ready or not, here we come. Take a walk around Universal Orlando Resort and seek where Little Boo is hiding. Find the clues on his treat bag. All right, so on his treat bag, so every one of them, he's got a bag. Find the clues on his treat bag and solve his secret page. Match the icon to the letter at each location. So we are going to have to go back out to City Walk. So can you see something on his bag? Let's go back in and just check real quick. Um, does he have a bag? All right, so he's holding a paintbrush. He's holding a paintbrush in his hand. So maybe Caleb can help us figure out here. The question is, do we have to find the clue on the physical little boo? Pumpkin seeds. All right. It would help if I could see a little bit better. They all have a bag in the silhouette, but I didn't see a bag in the air. All right. We're in the Universal Studios store, which is number one. I don't know, dude. I'm I'm lost. Find the clues on his treat bag and solve the secret phrase. Well, let's go to five and dime and see if that makes any difference. You can always come back to this one since we know where he's at. All right, so you, you're in charge of the map. Let's go head on over to, let's go find, what's that? Well, stick it in my bag. So, Little Boots, trick or seek. Oh, wait a second. That's it. That's. I mean, there's a bat somewhere here. There's that a bat there. That. Oh, so we're we got to find both the sign and the physical little boo. I guess maybe this is supposed to be like most of the time be like next to him, but in this case it wasn't. I don't know. No, it, no, there wasn't. A, I don't think I saw a bag next to the one city okay, walk. So. so why? So we got to find a sign like this there too. You find the bat. Okay, so. That is why it's just that's one, one is just, 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 just. All right, I think we might have figured it out. I'm going to, I'm going to just in case okay. this very lightly. I'm yeah. going to draw this very lightly just in case we get this wrong. We have to redraw stuff, but for now, that's what we're going with. Well, there's his pumpkin seeds, so. We might have figured it out here, I think. We can just be walk towards that direction, not just walk out or else we'll be lost for the rest of it. A little on the slow side today. No boo! He's a cute little guy, though. Welcome in, Dennis. So, Naomi, um, I'm going to... I'll, I'm going to try to see if I can uh, get this right. And I'm sure there may be someone in here who goes, nah, not quite. Let me fiddle in. But back in 2021, um, there was a Halloween Horror Nights house called Wicked Growth. In Wicked Growth, 
the entrance of the house had tons, tons of uh, pumpkins decorated in it. And uh, one of the pumpkins has the design and the face on it that you see now. And everybody sort of adopted and loved this pumpkin. And he got named, nicknamed Lil Boo. And Lil Boo's just kind of gotten a life of his own around here. And uh, now he's sort of like a little mascot of uh, of HHN. So now a Lil Boo, I don't believe is in the Hello Kitty store, but we did have somebody ask about the Chucky bag. Let's go see if we can find it real quick. Um, so Lil Boo is sort of like a little Earl the Squirrel, if that makes sense. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's a local is, legend who just kind of got picked up organically. Yeah, the little poo is the Halloween version of Earth's Pro. All right, does the bag smell like waffles? Oh, fun things! That wicked growth one was one of the one of the first full HHN houses that we went into ever because I, I had never been. Um, and uh, here's some Chucky stuff, but I don't see a Hello Kitty version. Um, and uh, here's the Hello Kitty shirt, though. Hello Kitty Chucky. And that one was uh, an amazing house. It was so well done. It's just the... Uh, the, the, I feel like the, the, the original atmospheric houses are always the best. And when, I, and when I mean original, I mean by made... The original store by Universal. Hello Kitty Chucky. There's a pin, too. Is that a pin? Yeah, it's a pin. Hello Kitty is so cute. She's, you know, taking on the Chucky idea. I can't fit it back in by myself. Welcome in, Riley. Good morning, good morning. And just a reminder, if you are part of our membership program here, I don't know if I've got a bag. I don't see a bag. Probably I think. In the tribute store, in yeah, we'll look for it there because if honestly, if it was, if it was anywhere, it would have been right there with the rest of the the Chucky stuff. Um, that uh, if you are a Magic Crew cast here in our YouTube program, if your name is in green, you're going to have a badge beside your name. You're also going to have access to those special emojis. One of those is a little boo emoji. So, we added a little boot to one of our things. So, what's our next store? Number two? Uh, five, five and nine. The five and dime? Got it. So, now we're going to look for a little boot in the store and we're going to look for the sign. So, this scavenger hunt does range between all the parts. So, I doubt we're going to complete all of it before we close off the hole. I could definitely see us at least completing off the park. Yeah, maybe we'll finish everything in this park and then check where our pole is going to take us before we change parks. Because I don't know if we're going to be in this park, that park, or City Walk. So we'll let you guys decide. Popeye's out today. He's going to get himself some spinach ice cream over in the pharmacy. Betty Boop is out today as well. And like you can get yourself a picture with the mystery machine. <laughs> All right, let's go check out Bob and Dime. All right, we're looking for a little boo. <laughs> by the register so you can buy stuff and find him while you're buying stuff. Oh, there's a symbol right there. Hello, Danielle. My goal is to get the HHN some year. So this location is great stuff. So we found the sign. Here's your treat bag. All the treat bags are pumpkin seeds, so at least we know that's consistent. But it's a, it's a tombstone. Good 
Good morning, Minas. How are you today? We got our we got our letter. So it is L. The cutest serial killer. He's cute until he gets mad. When he gets mad, he gets kind of nasty. He's got some language, and his uh, his face contorts in ways that's not very pretty. Hello, Hatbox Ghost. Welcome in. Don't know where the actual one is. He may be hiding. I stuck in like two rounds of the door. I don't see him. So the question is, are they hiding? Is there in a physical little boot as well? Or is it just, is or is it just the symbol? Just the symbol one. I see, uh, I see gremlins. No, I think they're going to be inside the store. <laughs> I saw the sign again and got all excited. Oh, found it! Wait, that's him. We've got, we've got our clue though. We know we've got that. Uh, they already have Chucky Artist Series pins are thirty percent off. I noticed some of the Hellfire Club stuff is on sale for thirty percent. Hey. So not just a sign, but an actual physical. Okay. Wow. So he is hidden well there. We just weren't sure if they had an actual figure in each location too. Ones that we've seen elsewhere have been pretty well hidden. So we're actually looking for a figure as well. How high up do we need to look? I know I'm at an impasse here because you know I can only barely see as it is. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> which one? <laughs> I found it. Is that in the exit? No. All right. Am I in, am I in the right spot? No. Okay. All right. So let us see if we can find it then. I'm thinking if it's... If, don't, yeah, don't give us any hints. Is it the same size as the other ones? Yes, but not in the same position. I'll okay. I don't know what that means. Right there. Oh my gosh. That is so well hidden. I'm not even mad, I'm just impressed. <laughs> He's down there. He is hiding under the table. Look, he's right there too. He's like looking at you going, did you find me? Did you find me? I'm, I'm under the table. Who wants to hide under the table with little Boo? You guys a fish. He has a fish? Yeah, he's holding a fish. Oh, he is holding a fish. He's under the water. Little sneaky little pumpkin. Alright, so now we've confirmed it. 
He is going to be located physically as a mannequin, and we have to find the clue on the sign. So I think we're good to go now. All right. All right, Owen. Where are we going next? Where's the location? Is MIB here? MIB? So obviously we've got a situation where it's going to be, he's going to be high and he's going to be low. I had to get to all my haunts to be able to see him there. So. You were right, Lauren. He was down there. He was hiding underneath all the seaweed and nets and stuff. Well, be. <laughs> it's Beetlejuice. Huh. He's the ghost with the most. Most, most, uh, largest tan. I don't know if it's a tan or what's going on. He's got a lot of stuff going on. It's kind of hanging out over here by the, uh, Stop spitting. By the Universal Orlando Horror, Horror Makeup Show. Owen's like trying to stay behind yes, me. Yes, I am. <laughs> Choose the direction stick to it. Dude. Hey, man, I gotta go with the flow. You know what I'm saying. Okay, down. So when are we gonna activate the cops? Oh. Should have done that already. Um, Next place we can. You want, give me. I mean, we're going over to MIB. I mean, there probably is a place we can do that. Yeah, there's a too. Probably the, the big Coke. Okay. Well, there's a Coke store on the right as we go in, so let's do that. The big Coke place. They have a register just for that. No one's going to be buying food or anything else, so that'd be going perfect. To big soda. Come on in the Starbucks. Starbucks location is still under construction, so they have moved to this temporary location off here to my right. Going to one of the scare zones here from Halloween Horror Night. It's not nearly as scary in the daytime. Here's Jungle of Doom. If you have claustrophobia, you better watch out. Because ho, 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 here I come. Welcome in, EG Stumbler. Oh, look at that. It's hidden in plain sight. Plain sight, Owen. Yeah, plain sight. Plain sight. Mm -hmm. plain, plain sight. sight. Yep. <laughs> wow. Okay. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. This scare zone has to be. Um, hey, I only said it. I only. I only said Beetlejuice twice. <laughs> oh. Is there a statue of limitations? Look who's over here. It's Shrek. Fiona. I don't see Donkey though. He don't do the little meet and greet. He gotta have his own place. They are uh, moving right along in this new family area over here. Um, this used to be, of course, back before January before it was closed. Uh, the kids zone area, it's being completely redone. And uh, I don't know about you, but is that a roller coaster? I think that's the same roller coaster. Is it the same roller coaster? I think so, yeah. Is that the uh, nut coaster? Yeah. Wow, you get a really good view of it when the playground's taken down. So. I wonder, I wonder what the big family attraction are gonna put in the place there is gonna be. Yeah, that's something a lot of people are kind of trying to guess at at this point. It's all been to the air until so something official is announced. So. Look, Doc Brown over here to our left. Whoa! Yeah, 3D, the birds are flying at your face, Andrew, as you're watching. Gonna have four. Every time a bird flies into the camera, like an air blast, like shoots into your face. 
um, feathers come out of your TV. The feathers come that, out of your TV. And whenever dad goes on gold trap bar, you get to get wet as well. Yeah. Honey, why is the living room so wet? I don't uh, know, Margo. What? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Where did that come from? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Tables. It is Dufftoberfest. We are officially in Dufftoberfest. Man, 12 hour shifts. Brutal. Lauren B says, How does Owen not know that line? I don't. I don't Why know. is the carpet wet, Todd? I don't know, Margo. The hell? That's an actual. That's an actual pro. Yes. Why is the carpet wet, Todd? I don't know, Margo. That's how I don't know. I wasn't referencing anything. That was just the words that came out of my mouth. But reference is a reference you didn't mean to make. Okay, sure. I don't. I still think he might. He might need a little help on that one, Lauren. Hey, kitten duo! How are you guys doing today? We are going to stop into the Coke area here and activate our freestyle cups so that the boys can uh, make sure to hydrate. We're I guess hydrate with big soda. And uh, then we're going to go into the MIB shop and find our third little boo. Now we know exactly what we're looking for. Sometimes you got to stumble around in the dark a little bit. Look at all the Halloween things they have on the on the store. Even on the door. Yeah, it's a little kitty cat. It's my, my little kitty cat. I love my little kitty cat. All right, so I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna come over this way. And I will give you this. Oh, I can imagine. Who's that? What thing? All right, mine's in my bag. You still have my card? No, nope, right here. So take that. If it doesn't, if it, if it. Doesn't have enough in there, let me know and I'll give you another part. Okay, um, do you want me to make yours as well? Yes. Okay. Like that. Can you grab it for me? I would love to hear some of the stories from that one about on the pavement. I should I should have gotten like a different design than Caleb. Alright, we had some different ones. That's why he can keep his in his uh in his uh holder. Oh. All right. Hi guys. I want to try practice and open in my eye a little bit while we're in here. This is where we're inside or outside. So I've been really concerned about whether or not my eye will continue to have problems once everything's said and done and everything's finished. I asked. I was. I've been obsessed over so much. I asked Doc Hudson three times during this yesterday. She has no concerns whatsoever. She says once the eye vision comes back 100%, your brain will snap back into place and you'll start opening your eye again. So uh, it's hard for me to open my eye. I can, but it doesn't want to. It's like it's trying to be protective. My brain is a little nervous and like a little gun shy. So, um, but the bubble in my eye is getting smaller. It is smaller, it is noticeable. 
um, I can still see it. Matter of fact, when I look up like this, the bubble goes all the way to the bottom. So I can actually look out my left eye. Matter of fact, with vision like this, I can actually see better in certain ways. Um, so I'm excited to see how my vision's gonna change. I'm gonna have to get new prescription glasses at the uh, at the end. But because of the- Here's your trick or treat bag. Uh, thank you, Easter Bunny. Um, so I'll have to, uh, um, I'll have to redo my prescriptions and all this when I'm done. But we'll have to see what's going on with this fluid in my eye first. Um, we'll find out in a couple of weeks if we have to do even further for that. So today, guys, welcome to Universal. Um, the uh, you guys, why don't you guys uh, get your treats and uh, we'll show everybody. We are doing the trick or seek scavenger hunt with Little Boo. Um, it is a scavenger hunt. I think it's so much better than what they've done in the past. They used to have the scarecrow. Uh, the Scarecrow scavenger hunt was fun, except that the Scarecrows were pretty easy to find because they were always at the front of every single retail location. You didn't have to look for them. You just had to walk in the store and go, Scarecrow. That was it. Well, Boo was hiding. And uh, when you buy the map and you play the game, this is sort of, this is your sun catcher slash ornament. If you take the thing off of it, you can see, you can see through it. Uh, is, your, is your prize for doing the scavenger hunt, so... That's pretty cute. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, since since I'm connected, could you grab one for me? Uh, sure. Um, what do you want? You did the zero sugar Fanta question mark. Fanta zero peach. You should get the question mark flavor. Oh, they have a fan, they have a Fanta question mark. Mm -hmm. Do they have the vault? No. The vault's on the one out here. There is a vault yeah, on that one. Like so. so what's this month's vault? I don't remember. Is it a V for Hector? Yes. We are hydrating Naomi. Yes, we are. We're being good. Hello, Disney fan for life. You found the little boo icon. Our little boo emoji. He's a cute little character, and I think after today's done, I think uh, I might treat the boys to a little boo cookie at the end. Um, are you planning on doing the Pluto? Uh, yes, the Pluto pumpkin pursuit. Um, say that three times fast. Uh, Tammy, yes, I plan on doing the, the Pluto pumpkin pursuit over at Epcot. I wasn't sure if we were going to do it this week or save it for next week. Because um, that's a lot that's a lot of scavenger hunts going on, but uh, we may, we're going to at that's least yours, do right? it. Um, mm -hmm. We're gonna at least do it next week. The Pluto's pumpkin pursuit. The, 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 you know, pursuit has a lot different of a more like running vibe. After. Yeah, because like pursuit's like. Oh, I'm gonna after. be carrying this in. This is cool. I like what they've done this year because it is. It kind of looks like a like a little price book. A little, what am I trying to think of? Golden book. A little or? golden book. Looks like a little golden book. Yeah. Um, but we had to really look. The only three reason we had to ask the team member before is because I wasn't 100% sure um, that uh, there was a mannequin to find. So but you know what? I like a challenge. Usually these scavenger hunts are extremely straightforward. I am happy for a good challenge. The scarecrow stalk was not hard. I mean, I mean it's a challenge. You, scarecrow. Walk, you, not walk, hard. you walked into every retail store. It was right there at the front. All you do is walk into the store. And go, okay, yeah, I got it. I feel like at first I didn't like the idea of the treat bag until I realized it's just there so people that aren't that good at finding stuff don't have to search for like super hidden little I, boo. I felt like the scarecrow stock was more of a let's make you go into every retail location and go shopping. And this I is, think this one, that's just, this is just that more because is, you're going to look everywhere. You're hey, going to buy that merch. Naomi, um, are you drinking? Are you drinking from your? Are you hydrating from your cup today? Don't you have a little cup of this too? Da dum 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 da dum. No, that's not even. It's still one of the weirdest cups I've seen in a while. I now I go this, but I was so. Yeah, I don't want to go this, All right, you guys ready to go look for a little boost some more? Yes, Cindy, it is. It's a universal. That's a little that's little boo. That is that's our that's our dude. That's our pumpkin dude. That's him. So look at that. I was making you do I was making you do universal stuff and you didn't even know. 
Hello, Vicky. How are you? Let's turn this thing around. Quickly, our next uh, location is going to be right out the window. Yep. Well, we're not going to go out the window, though. That's really hard. I'm going to take the door. The door is easier. All right. Quick, help me with this table. We're going to get a shower. Throw the table out the window. This works on the movies. Bounces off the window, hits me in the head, in the face. Hey, let's try this. I saw, I saw a TikTok yesterday. Yeah. I saw it on TikTok. Yeah, it works. Is everything you see on everything on TikTok is perfect. The tree bags are the tree bags were the scarecrow chalk was last year. Yeah, it's right there at the front. You didn't have to really search for it. So here's the thing. People who want to do the hide and seek or the trick and seek or try whatever, do this, who don't want to search for the mannequin and don't want to make it harder, they don't have to. Well, I, I Oh, well, yeah, that one's pretty quick. <laughs> I wonder where he is. But, I mean, for those who don't want to look, it's right there at the door for what you need to do to complete the game. Which hat? So, but, I think we all almost got a word down. Um, one was why three was you so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be surprised if we go to the seven and it's out store and it's this hand symbol right here ah you but this one was kind of quick i need to let me slip out here let's go take a look at our at our buddy over here it's still really cool with the theme this one isn't really trying to blend in. Does he have a tip for a hat on? Yes, yes he does. So they can't read his mind. Does he even have a brain to read? Well, they did until somebody decorated him. They scooped it out. All right, let's get him this way. I'm taking a couple pictures. I thought aliens were supposed to be gray. Welcome in, Big Al. How are you? Good morning, Leo. <laughs> Cindy this whole time thought that that icon was Jack Skellington. She's like, I'd go with that. You know, if you see a hidden Mickey, it's a hidden Mickey. So, you know. So you guys can see little Boo is dressed up as an alien in a Men in Black outfit. So somebody was in charge of creating and making every single one of these little Boo characters. I bet they had a ton of fun. So our next location is going to be the San Francisco Candy Factory, which is over near Richter's. Yes. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna to need to do a battery switch real quick. I need a. You need a surface. Yeah, I need a surface. Should we go outside? Give me a surface. I can use this surface for just a second if I can get to it. I just have. I'm carrying so much stuff. I don't normally carry, so we're gonna do a switch. There. Yes. Taxes next year are going to be a bear. Okay, well, maybe not taxes. No, well, you have to pay taxes, dude. They put you in jail. No, I mean, like, like with what you're currently doing. Not oh, okay. Oh, okay. That was like re rearranging your mortgage. I get it. <laughs> we have a mortgage? Oh, now we're in trouble. We haven't paid that in a long time. All right, we're going to put this back in. We're changing out a battery cable here, guys, so...
Uh, we're in trouble. We're going to be in trouble. How much charge you got, Bob? Well, guess what? You know, I said, you know, we're going to have to use Floaty because everything else didn't charge. Yeah. Floaty also did not charge? Floaty also did not charge. Hooray! Nothing charged last night in our equipment. So Floaty is also about dead. So hooray! Okay, so we should at least get through these first five in the lunch bowl at the very least. Let's see what we can do. Okay, San Francisco came back Okay. I will show you guys this. This is a sign. This is a wooden sign. Look at all the little boo stuff. We, we showed us some of this. Check out that little wooden sign. I mean, everybody would love that. That is an, a, that's an awesome sign. And they have glasses, they have bows, they have vinyl stick ons, they have the shirts we saw earlier. But I'll, that sign is just really cool. Gotta love little boo. He's got little cobweb. Look, he's got little cobwebs in his, in his brain. He's just like me. Oh, and don't spit that drink out. Don't make good jokes while I'm sipping my drink. No. So we... So we're going to try to finish all of uh, the locations here in this side what of the park. What locations do you have left anyway? Oh, only, only, I, I, I just wanted to do all the locations in this park and there's only two left. So, and the last two are extremely close to each other. After we get done with those two, we can get close to the whole. We can get two birds with one. Stone. I would like to see if we can take everybody into the tribute store while we're here because we've not done that. So. Do you want to do that as well? If we can, yes, depending on battery. Let's get those um, last two done. It's kind of uh, set us back a little bit when I realized that nothing, literally nothing charged the last night. Well, so let's get those last two off and then we're going to check the battery again and then everything's Well, we're charging right now, so we're going to stay on for just a bit, but it's not going to be for too, too long. So sorry, guys. Yeah, we, uh, we plugged... I plugged everything in last night to charge for today's stream. Um, unplugged it and put it all together. You know, it's the whole little configuration we have to do. Um, it's not a simple thing <laughs> in the slightest. But uh, I went to go plug everything in this morning when we got the Universal. And uh, yeah, it's uh, all the batteries are dead because There's nothing the charged. I didn't plug in with the block. Yeah, whatever block extension cord we I used to plug check, everything in. I have to check with mom. Yeah. The fuse was blown? Yes. So the fuse was blown in our extension cord, so that's why nothing charged last night. Everything charges off of one industrial size anchor cord, so. Are there charging stations that you could use? Um, there are fuel rod stations here. Um, they are not free at Universal. It's like 250, three bucks to charge, to, to change out a fuel rod. I mean, push comes to shove, we can always just grab another fuel rod and just buy one. And, uh, cause we have tons of fuel rods. That's cute. Wrong door, but adorable. Um, they, uh, we have, we, we have a fuel rod station here, so we can change out some of our fuel rods and get a little bit more out of it. So fish come to shove. Gabriel says, I have a battle with the dark side at 1215. Well, that's not a nice way to say you have lunch with Jill. That's kind of rude, dude. Really? You could have just... Actually, no, thank you. I'm going to be using that later. <laughs> battle with the dark side of the force. I'm, 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 I'm not... I'm, not... I'm going to tell Jill you said that. Thank you guys for 400 likes. Universal is always a day in which people are like, oh, not Disney, keep walking. So we're glad you guys can stick around and have some fun with us today. And thank you for hitting the thumbs up button. All right, I suddenly just went like completely parched. What happened? Here we are in Shipyard 83. Shipyard 32. 
It's Vamp 69. Shipyard 32. Every scare zone's a different year. Vegetable egg rolls with sweet dipping sauce. Wow. I love, I love egg rolls. As long as it's not as bad as those egg rolls we had that one time over at Islands of Adventure. Yeah, as long as it's those. Oh my egg rolls. gosh. I mean, they were okay. I thought they Owen were okay, thought they were fine. But I was really picky that day. I had a little, I little had, I had a temper tantrum that day. Yeah, you were, you were. I was throwing egg rolls. You should have just egg rolled with it. <laughs> right here. All right, we're going to the candy company. Yep. Little boo, little boo, off to find a little boo. And buy some candy. Okay, hey guys, now we now know that we made you two hundred under people. The <laughs> sci-fi battery scheme. No. Uh, the map, we actually bought that at the Universal Studio store at the very front of the park. But I think you might be able to buy it in different places. This is one of the locations. Right, you might be able to find it inside. Now it turns out we had a blown. We had a bone fuse. Oh, it smells so good in here, guys. Here's our uh, here's our little boo symbol. Et email later. Phone about to die. <laughs> Set an et phone home. Et email you later. Phone about to die. He's hiding by a uh, air conditioner. <laughs> Tony, we might have a new start. So horror story for this Halloween, a simple Disney lamp brought home and gradually turns evil and curses everyone involved. It all started the day we got Lampy. Watch out for Lampy. Andrew says it kind of looks like Ultraman. He's like, like an evil Tin Man. I feel like I have a guess to what the phrase is. I wish they all could be little boo. I wish they all could be little boo. That light is really hard to catch, capture him in that corner. I'm going to go a little bit further over. There we go. It's even worse. <laughs> All right, we got our clue. Yep, we got our little boo, and we got our clue. Next location is going to be Sahara Trade Company. So, so show me the map again, just for people who are just popping in. We are doing today's uh, little boo's trick or seek. Little boo is hiding in uh, certain retail locations in both the parks and city walk here at Universal, and uh, we're using the clue to figure out the answer to our little riddle here. And uh, we already got our prize, which is a cool sun getcher. So, but it's kind of fun to find uh, him hiding around. 
Yeah. Hangman. I'd like to solve the word. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing I just considered. Like, there's symbols. What is that? That's weird. Just left the bag there. Yeah, what was that? Okay. So, there are symbols for each letter, but like looking at this and looking at this, there's probably a good chance they'll reuse some of these symbols. Yeah, well, different... think about it. What chance is there a phrase that you're going to have? I'd like that... to solve the, the word as yeah. I see you, little One, two, blue. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah, 12, there's 12, no... 13, 14, 15. There's 15 symbols. There's 15 symbols, 15 different letters, but O and L doesn't pop up twice. So... I would love it if they come up with a a, uh, a way that you did you had a phrase that had no repetition of letters at all. All right, let's go out in the middle of it. I'm asking for trouble. So I'm looking at the bag, Andrew, and it kind of looks like a. Uh, it kind of looks like. Um, it's not a personal bag. It looks like it contains items that uh, are part of maintenance. But we may mention that to them as well. If you ever see something strange like that, you can always just say, hey, guys, just check it out just to make sure. So, Greg, there are no stickers. Each of the locations has a symbol hidden on the sign yeah. in the store, and you have to find the symbol on the map fill the letter in and there's just a word to go it's in. Actually, it's actually kind of like, it's a oh, uh, hey loser dork face. Which is kind of nice because sometimes stickers can be a kind of a pain to keep up with. That is true. I'm just saying. You have to you have to like you have to like rip it like spend like like a minute. Pull or the two, sticker like, off. Like trying to get the edge so you can pull it off. Also tell security there's creepy little pumpkin-headed children hiding in all the parks. <laughs> we found like 13 of them. Ooh, that's unlucky. 13. What's our next door? Um, Sahara Trading Company. Sahara Trading Company. It's over there where the uh, mummy yeah, I gift shop. The mummy. Yeah. Let's uh, let's go through the arcade then. Pigeons better watch out. Watch out for the pigeons. They have animatronic pigeons here in New York. Make it much more realistic. How they get them things to look so real? I have no idea. They are so real. How you doing today, Bailey? Hello, hello. We're looking for a little boo. Here's a fuel station there. Here's a fuel rod. If we, if we have to go that route, we can get ourselves another fuel rod. Shannon. All right, so we're going to go into the Sahara Trading Company. This one might be harder for me because oh, I'm blind. Little Boo is in here somewhere. Well, give me a chance to give it a good old. Why we find the sign first before looking for it? Here's our sign down here behind Owen. There you go. It's a hand. I thought you said you wanted the hand to be over at a certain location. Yeah, 
I think it's probably going to see you a little bit. Just looking not at yet, that. not yet, Travis. Looking at how the lines are already laid out. Okay. I know the, the line for Stranger Things four when we first got here for the uh, for that day was extremely long. Thank you, Owen. So don't tell me. Don't tell me. See if I can find him by myself. Looking for the little boo. Is, is this little boo? Oh, it's not little boo. No. Not little boo. Little boo? So, good. Give me a sec. I think you'll find this one, honestly. Woo. You don't think I'll find it? Yeah. It's too hard? Well, it's hard if you're looking in all the wrong places. Looking for boo in all the wrong places. Looking for boo. Looking for boo. Get to All right. Huh? No, I just, I just, just got started. Oh, they're light, they're light, their faces are lighting up. This is a hard store to look around in. Front of the store and then came back. So it's probably somewhere close to the okay. I'm going to try to open my other eye. All right, let's try to get back around. All right, we're going to look up and look down. All the places up and down. There's a lot of stuff in this store. It's a large Very tall. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is really well. Not really well hidden because we didn't look the way we came. I mean, I had a feeling he was going to look sort of like a. Uh, they were going to have him. Blending in with the environment, that looks like every single other statue in here. That's what I'm saying. It looks if like if you it... were looking for the face, you would have gone completely past that. That's why I felt like we needed to kind of look for something that looks like it would go into a museum. He looks like he uh, serves to be in a pyramid. I didn't know that Cleopatra celebrated Halloween. Okay, so that's all of the. Team Does that mean it's lunchtime? All the pumpkins, all the clues. Little boo. All the pumpkins, all the clues have been. Um, all the all the pumpkins we found. All the little boos here in this park. In this park. Yes. Okay. So what time is it? It's twelve thirty. Not the best time. What do you want to do? You want to go ahead and close up the pool or? So. Um, head. Yeah, that wasn't little boo. We found him. He he was hiding amongst the the cobwebs. He felt he felt safe there. So, hey, we just found not only little Boo but 
We just found a PayPal hidden among the chat now. We just found a PayPal from the magic crew. Anonymous! Anonymous just tipped $30. Looks like Stream Elements is working again. Thank you so much, Anonymous, for the $30 PayPal to help us out with today's expenses. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you, Anonymous. And thank you for the support of the channel and the community. I'm going to try to walk through without me running into anybody. All right. We've made it into the uh, area where BAMP 69 Scare Zone is. This is a good time as any to close our lunch poll today. You want to let Susan know we are good to go. What are we going to do for lunch today? Thank you, Joy, for being number 416 of the likes today. Greatly appreciate you popping in and hanging out with us at Universal today. Yeah, that boo, that little boo was really well hidden and it looked like it, it deserved to be in the museum itself. So it's lunchtime, guys. You guys get to choose what we have for lunch. You choose, we chew, then review. So, notice our tribute store this year is a uh, comic book store. Oh, that's cool. Check it out. Little B-Side Adventures. Exterminator. That's from the Bug House last year. And look what I see over here. The Tale of the Holiday Tribute Store with Earl the Squirrel. Spooky Tales with Earl. And then look over there. Earl celebrates Mardi Gras. That's pretty cool. Hit the little details here. Welcome in Forever Young. Okay, guys, so we are going, the pool is closed, and we are going to Richter's Burgers. Richter's? We're going to Richter's Burgers for a mushroom Swiss truffle burger. All right, I got to get a picture of the Mardi Gras comic books. I'm going to get these boys something to eat. Thank you guys for voting in the poll today. All right, you guys ready to head on over to our Richter's? All right, let's go. Now, normally when we're over at Disney, guys, who does the poll can be kept from me i can't but susan actually takes my disney experience out orders our lunch i don't even get to see what it is until we go to pick it up universal is a little different you can order certain foods but a lot of things are no longer available for mobile order and even the ones that are you, you have to be physically in the park on Universal's Wi-Fi 
to get the best signal and to make it work best. So. traffic. I'm, no, I don't like it at all. And I'm on Long Island, so no, this is perfect. This is great. Well, we just got here today, and I said, I gotta go and see Chris. Well, that's perfect. Magic, so Thank you so much for coming over and saying hello. I hope you guys have a great trip. We will. Are you guys, are you guys going to HHN? Yes. Where are you guys going? So we're going, um, tomorrow's Halloween Horror Nights, um, and then we're going to do Halloween Horror Nights Halloween Adventure, and then Magic Kingdom on Saturday. On Saturday. Awesome. And then we leave Sunday already, but it's but a good trip, and enjoy it, have thank some fun, you. and uh, thank you for coming over and saying hi. Thank you. All right, everybody say goodbye to Kristen. You guys have a great trip. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Kristen, for coming over and saying hello to us. Awesome to meet you in person. Always a pleasure to see our magic crew in the park. So, and anytime you guys see me, come on over and say hello. Say hello to everybody else in the group as well. And uh, we love to see you guys in the parks. Woo, nice breeze coming through here. Can you guys hear it across the microphone? The breeze. Yeah, uh, our, our temperatures are getting to be a little more tolerable. Though, we're still in the 80s, guys. I mean, today we're a high of 85 degrees, I believe, 85, 86, um, and uh, it's uh, still staying in the mid to high 80s most days, but I want you guys to notice what we got coming up for next week. I got a high of 81, so that's going to be a nice day, so it, the temperatures are coming down. So that's good. All right, so we're gonna go over to Richter's Burgers. Sounds like you guys have chosen so, a mushroom uh, Swiss truffle burger for me. Yes, that is the option that one. And by the way, when I was talking about a theme earlier, uh -huh. there were three options. Do they all have fungi on them? No, all of them. The Last all, of Us? Mom isn't that mean. All they're all mushrooms? All of them oh, they're burgers. all burgers. Oh, I thought they were all like mushrooms. Isn't that I, I don't think she'll go out of your way to have just mushroom items, but she knows she knows I love mushrooms. I love them. <laughs> All right. Uh, do we still come in the front? At one time, they were not letting people come in the front. We had to come through the side. Hello. Hello. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we can do that then. Let's go find ourselves a table. Looks like there may be some up there. Um, we can sit here if we can get it cleaned off. Is it, is it clean enough to sit here? Or do you want to you want to sit up top? Actually, stay here. Let me check if there's some. Up there. All right, I'll sit here, and you guys tell me if it. I'm just thinking. Put everything down. Am I 
want me to go try to get it? I can go rush over there. I might have to put in the order. Yeah, um, let's put an order in. Yeah, I lost my cup. Man! I got too much to hold. I'm having to hold everything today because of the floating has to be charged with everything. All right. Let's turn this around. Let's put an order in and get it started. Where else did we stop? Where else did we? I would have had to put it down. It would either, it would either be. Um, it might be. It might be the coat where we recharge. No, because I had it in my hand. It might be. I thought. Because uh, I remember when I picked everything up, I put it on my fingers because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. It's either gonna be on. It might be Sahara or uh, one of those two. Probably. All right, let's get our order in. So you guys chose Richter's. Which is I tried to get it in here so you guys can see where we're at. Right there. Right there. Look at that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I need to switch off of um, my connection. I want to go switch over to Universal to make my order. It's always best anytime you use a Universal app for anything to switch over to Universal Wi-Fi. Especially if you're doing things like uh, virtual queues and stuff like that, you're going to want to make sure uh, that you are on their Wi-Fi. Watching from Costa Rica. All right. Yeah, it all stems from a need to make others laugh. Just to cap it all off. Jess has never been to Universal going for the first time down in March. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. We'd love to help you guys out. I think I'm just going to have the big one. Where did you stop to change your battery at? That was in Men in Black. I probably left it on the counter in Men in Black. Which burger, which burger do you want? Uh, the big one. I'll take the big one as well. That's the actual name on the menu. That's not, that's not picking it up. That's oh, like, I thought you just like, I just want the big one. Whatever the big one is, I want that one. Which is the biggest burger. Okay, hang on. They want the big one. All right, so I'm gonna go to Universal. Is there anything special about your burger that I need to put in with the order? No meat, no extra something. Okay, you're gonna go check out Minute Black. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just ask him to see if there's something that somebody's turned in a cup and left the cup there. Okay, all right, thank you, bud. We're gonna go back to the tribute store afterwards because of the fact that uh, we want to make sure we didn't run out of battery. what live streaming can be uh, can be really technical sometimes yeah I think uh, we are officially out of battery at this point so whatever we have left is what we have left let's see check and floaty Curse. That's what they 
said they want, we want the big one. I'm like, okay, it's the big one. The, evidently, it's called the big one. I believe I left my cup somewhere. Welcome in, Kenneth. How are you doing today? Uh, can you use the cups from the Universal Hotels for the parks? No. If it is a uh, if it is a cup that you bought, uh, let's say from Cabana Bay and it's only gonna be good at the resorts. Um, it does not work in the parks and vice versa. These cups, when you activate them here, they will work at one location in City Walk, uh, but they will not work when you get to your, resort, your resorts. All right, so I'm gonna find the Collagen Louis Richter's Burger Company. Here we go. Putting the order in here, we can order straight from the table. I just checked the freestyle ball. It's not really that interesting. Okay. It's citrus Coke Zero and Powerade something. Maybe it's all. Wi-Fi is being really weird. She blinded me with science. Owen got the cup. Huh? Oh, Owen found the cup. Sweet. I went and got my cup. So I did leave it in my MIB. Oh, I I'm trying to get Universal to log in back again and it won't do it. Hello, Chamber Cities! Oh, I got the boys with me today. It's getting a little bit cooler, so it's a little bit easier for uh, Caleb to get in. Make sure we don't keep him out in the sun too much. Kids make a suicide drink. <laughs> you call it? That's what we always call it—a suicide drink. This is like you're killing yourself because you're you're putting all these flavors together and it's nasty. Welcome to the fancy suicide drink taste test. Well, we call it a suicide drink because you know we didn't think anything of it. You're killing yourself, Smalls. shows us uh, we're going to have, well, once I can get this to work. I can't connect the universal Wi-Fi. It kicked me off, and I can't get it to go back on. The options today, you have the Rickers Burgers. Both of the other ones were Fast Food Boulevard. Oh, they were? Yeah, so it's like the one option out of the burger. Look at the 
decently close for the Hot Food Boulevard. All right, it's signing me back in. Here we go. Thank you so much. Did you walk up and say we left the cup? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah we saw it. It was just sitting there. It was still sitting there. It was still sitting there. I think you were extremely lucky that you put that cup by a display of bags that had the exact same sign on it. it I like put it like it was on display. Hello, Drew. Danny says, I watched yesterday's video. Sorry to hear about your eye. Enjoyed shopping with you and Susan. It was a little different yesterday, I know. Oh, you streamed shopping? We went to Primark. Primark. Um, while we were at Sawgrass Meals. And yeah. Excuse me, I'm going to go get the get the hydration. I just want everybody to have this. There we go, now it's working. Richter's Burgers, I just need to get right back on there. Thank you, Danny, appreciate it. I love watching the chat from like Dad's perspective. You don't see the emoji, you just see whole and little food, whole and Yeah, little you don't see all that stuff. <laughs> so, finally got it to work. I think Lampy's gonna be fine after Halloween. I think he just likes, he gets, I think he just gets into the trickster Halloween spirit. The trickster spirit possessing it. So uh, you guys chose for me the mushroom Swiss truffle burger. Um, the uh, platter is a premium uh, Angus beef patty, Swiss cheese mushrooms, truffle, and served with fries at $16.99. Uh, and then the boys are gonna get the big one. The Toy Story Fair is a completely different thing. The big one. Um, so we're gonna get two big ones. And one mushroom trist. I wonder why they call it a platter when it's really just that's the burner. What it's supposed to look like. $16.99 for that bad boy. $47.97 for lunch. Luckily, we didn't have to buy drinks again because we already have our drinks. I think so, and I have one too. Um, and uh, with tax, it's $51.09. There we go. Go much with the sea with the fog, I other than their initial stuff. I like sea with sea with the fog. Every, I don't think they really went with cool it. Design, I don't. Cool design. But nothing else matches that. Yeah. Everything else is completely different. I don't think they. I think they changed their minds or something. I'm not sure. Was the fog too much for them? They didn't. They decided not to see us in the fog. It's too foggy. All right, putting the order in. Could they not get their hands on the fog machines? All right, I've arrived to prepare my order. Enter table number, we're at table 219. All right, so what happens is when you get here, you can enter your table number or just wave it around the, uh, the table number and it picks it up. And uh, they should uh, bring our food to our table. Sweet, just like that. Hello, Sergeant Cody. Welcome in. 
we are having our um, Richter's Burgers. By chosen by you guys and the Magic Crew today with the Richter, Richter Burger Company. And uh, Owen and Caleb are having the big one. You know, I'm kind of sad that we did this. It's really sad that there's no bacon. So I can't say on a Richter scale how much shaking is How it is, is on a Richter scale. How shaken is your bacon? Peter, am I doing HHN tonight? Uh, no, because um, I'll be by my lonesome. I can't get these guys to go with me. And uh, I still can't drive myself at this point. So, kind of one of those scenarios. But I'm hoping to get back maybe, uh, I need to get back. I don't know, we're gonna see. My eye is getting better. Other than that liquid that we found yesterday. I can see out a lot of more, but the, the bubble is getting smaller. So my vision is slowly coming back. But I'm a little nervous to go by myself just yet. Uh, Susan wants to know, is the top I don't see any top before. I don't, think, I don't see one out here. There's just one out in the middle. I don't think it's back. Uh, UG wearing Universal. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I, I think I got my car you up for today. <laughs> I'm going to go rinse my cup out just in case somebody decided to take a swing. I get the design of the new cup. Like, I don't get the whole. Sorry, Nick Cody's only facing the direction that you're going to be. Yeah. The I, don't, I don't know. It's not hinge. You can't even do like. Only one side is hinged. The other one's not. Why would you hinge one side? So where does it come off? Sergeant Cody says today is their one year anniversary watching year to year. Uh, a year ago today I was laid off and found year to year magic and watching every every lunch break ever since. So uh, so year anniversary. Yeah, year or we call it a stream anniversary. One year stream anniversary. It's awesome. Hey, Glad to have you here, Sergeant Cody. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna give this a rinse out just in case somebody decided to take a swig. No, just be safe. So uh, they're gonna bring our food here. You wanna have a seat here and you guys can talk with everybody. Keep the chat going. And uh, I'll be back in just a moment, guys. Just point me in the general direction. Toppings? Oh, it's down in the basement. Right. Toppings bar, down in the basement. Watch out for head. Good afternoon, Aaron. Good afternoon, Brian. How is everyone doing? <sighs> oh. Don't say I never come there, because like, oh. That's <laughs> I ran like two thirds of the way here and back and walked the other third to get that, to get that cup here as quickly as possible. Luckily, it was like right next to this way of like bags with uh, similar to the size of the cup, so I don't think anyone touched it. He's still gonna like wash that out, put some unit into the case, which obviously is a good idea. Two big ones coming in mushrooms. 
it's funny. It's like the you have the mushroom charcoal burger, which is obviously the deluxe version of the burger. Then you have the like the basic burger, and they name that the big one. That's 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 the food item they should hope talking about big one. Thank you. trips we're gonna get everything we need
got the tremors and then you got the big one. Yeah, at least we're, you know, not taking too long to eat. Okay. Oh, I just thought of an awful idea. What, what's that, what's that movie, isn't that what that one movie is called, Tremors with the worms? Yeah. What if there was a burger with gummy worms on it? I'm sorry, it's just they like, called it Tremors? And they called it Tremors. I feel like that would be awful. There's no way you'd be able to make that work, but you can brought that up. Yeah, but how do you check me? The question is, I don't know if Tremors is a uh, universal sound. Oh, that's right. You have to get IP. That's a good point. Okay, that's just something I can think about. So, let me show you guys. Floaty just died, by the way. You need a fuel rod? Yeah, can we grab a fuel rod just in case? There's the... Mushroom, Swiss truffle. Let's take it this way. Did you unplug and plug it in? Lisa's got like lettuce and tomato and all that stuff on it. Charge it. Uh, let me see. Let me see a second. It's too big, I can't fit it in my mouth. I need a smaller one. You should have had the big one. You should have called this one the big one. Disasters make me hungry. <laughs> so, normally I'm not huge on mushrooms. I don't know how they're prepared and how they're done. This is not bad. Favorite ride at Universal. Favorite ride at Universal. Yeah, that is gonna be a tough one. Uh, I think it's gonna be Barney Show closed. That is not nowhere in the roster. Maybe it's gonna be Philosophical or Hacker. Stay mode and play. Caleb says, same between the two. I do think exactly that. It's a hard choice because both of I them can, are so good. I can never so choose between Velocicoaster and Hagrid's. I would, I would easily ride either one of them and give them the opportunity to jump on quickly. <laughs> Lampy. Uh, 
question I ask myself, if like, if a meteor was like, heading to like, this attack location, I can only protect what drive over the day, it would be hard to choose between. If a meteor was going to destroy all of Universal but one ride, which yeah, one you, would you stand in front of to yeah. protect? When did you become like super meteor dude guy? I think it was like 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 resources, not like like take take one for your team, like stand in front of it. Okay, but like don't worry, guys. I got this. At that point, you're not getting Hagrid because like history runs its course. The dinosaurs need to be wiped out again. <laughs> Well, it goes back to the question. If you were having a foot race with a dinosaur, who would win? Um, me because the dinosaurs are dead. Exactly. So, Caleb, Richard wants to know who you are. I'm, I'm his son. Who? And I went to the moon. My son, Caleb. Welcome in, Federico. Oh, in California, I know it's no joke. I remember the first time when I was working in Burbank, we had an earthquake. Everything started kind of just kind of vibrating, and it stopped. I looked at everybody else at the conference table. I said, "Was that an earthquake?" And they're like, "Yeah." But it just kept working. I'm like. Big deal. From Georgia was the amazing. Georgia didn't get near its way. Hello, Kadeem and Janelle. How are you guys? Take a moment after eating for food, or do you uh, ride immediately? Well, when we're live streaming, we generally never really get on rides immediately, but we have done so. I mean, I've gone straight on the roller coasters after eating eating stuff. But not water rides, though. You're gonna get a cramp. It kind of depends on what you're eating. You never want to be the guy who went to get his board and left over at bar because he went out of there right after eating. So, Federico wants to know, if you're at Universal, what would you guys do to chill out? What's an activity you could do to chill out while you're waiting to digest your food? Cast spells. Go to Harry Potter and wake up waiting for him. Beepity beepity. Show out while waiting for what? Take your, take your interactive wands to Diagon Alley. Do a little bit of spells. Exploring. Something like that. Not a bad idea. You do that one water spell and wait for somebody to be perfectly walking past. You even can, though you aren't really paying attention. You could go do minion, I can go do minion blast. In minion blast, are you just standing there and firing with your gun? That's a really hard question to answer. It's show. Because when you think of universal, I don't think you think of show. You think of like, like extreme, like thrill, like waiting for it. Watch the animal actor show. That is actually a good one. You ride the mummy, and that way the flamethrowers burn all no, the food in your body. No, do not ride the mummy. Naomi will tell you about that. <laughs> Go watch the Born Stuntacular. It's a good show to watch. Air condition, nice place to go. So there's a few places and things you can do while you're kind of chilling out. I mean, uh, you, I, 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 would, I don't think that, but uh, you can check out stores, but considering how big each store is, that you're probably going to have to hop between a few if you're trying to waste a uh, huge amount of time. But then you can also go to the tribute store, exchanges on a uh, monthly basis. Well, not monthly, but like, like seasonal basis. You can ride Fast and the Furious. 
<laughs> That's a good show, right? Yeah. Because nothing happens. Nothing happens on uh, Facts and the Furious. Eugene says Minion Blast was meh. What do you think, Owen? I feel like it's a great concept. But, one, um, oh. a lot of things. Here's a list. A lot of things aren't like properly um, like explained to you. Like for instance, like the first few go rounds, I was so confused how why why when I got like an elemental crate, it didn't give like shame to the protect. It didn't give me like a special. I it only t it took me a few times to go around that I realized that um, that only changes the shot. Like your 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 main weapon that does not give you something extra to like something with AOE or something that does more uh, AOE. You just you just change your shot. And two, I feel like a lot of stuff is locked behind the app, which is which is um, which is not also explained. I mean, this is the first ride that when you go in. After going in through three or three times, you can get upgrades. No other like shooting ride here in Universal and Disney has ever done that. Wait, Mini Plus has meta progression? Yes, there's upgrades. <laughs> Welcome to the first real life road bike. Well, no, not not that way. Just this figuring this out. Not that way, but um, you know the four shots. Yeah. Um, you have four spots of your gun. That could be a, like. One perk can be assigned to one element. So you can have like a perk assigned for each element, or like double it down to have like all perks assigned for this one. What I have to say is I really like how the guns feel. Like no guns. Blasters. Blasters. That's a good feeling blaster though. Gotta admit. That's one way deep blast. That's a few few. Kana was excited to see that they had a blaster toy until he realized that it wasn't the, uh, full size. It wasn't full size and it was so light. The one thing I like about the blaster is the way it feels, the grip. You make it tiny and it kind of loses the uh, feel. You, you have emotional support weighted plushies, and you have like emotional support weighted blaster. <laughs> Sir, a weighted plushie. Emotional support blaster. This is my ESB. It's nice. It's a good day. It's a good breeze. It's been pretty good overall. How is the burger? It's gone. I feel like we all have just fries up. I mean, we can start reviewing the burger itself. Like, as the fish stuff. Okay. We need to refresh. Give it a refresh. Be back with you guys in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. Let me make our sure our signal's good. Good, 
mid 80s, nice breeze. So, let's off. All right, Owen. I'm going to leave it to you first. Ready? Tell me when you're in. So I had big the, one. I had the big one burger, which again, I said this a ton already. Surprisingly considering it's a basic burger on the best. It's a burger huh. with cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato, pickles, the basic on Like, it's good that it's bacon, but it's just like anything to an experimental with flavor or anything like that. Not so, experimental. Talk about the price cut. This is sixty dollars. At sixteen ninety nine, I believe. Now mine was sixteen ninety nine. No, yours is sixteen ninety nine. Mine was about, fifteen forty eight. Yeah, somewhere around fifteen yeah, bucks for 15 you. Fifteen forty nine, I think. Yeah, fifteen forty nine was the price that I got. So it is a bit, a bit up there. Um, it's more expensive than the other place. Yes, it is more expensive than the place that should not be named. Um, <laughs> Bought a board has a diner. Um, the presentation is what you expect. It's a burger, fries are on the side. It's, it's the best thing to do with that kind of scenario. Um, the burger itself. The patty was good. It's not like your McDonald's patty. It does have some thickness to it. You're not going to finish this and then look back with me. Yeah. Throw that in my fries. Oh. You're not going to look back and wonder. Here, go You're not going to look back after finishing the burger and wonder, wow, I, there wasn't a lot of meat. There's a decent amount of patty in there, which is good. Bacon, the uh, were good. I mean, tomato was a bit small. Now that you have it, would you have it again? Hesitation! If I were, I may want to try that mushroom burger if I came back around. It's not the burger you think. Just to try something new. Like, if there was something more interesting. The good one. It's something that caught my attention, and the bigger one's on the menu. I'd probably skip the bigger one more interesting item. The better one. And I think my only complaint has to be, uh, be that the toppings weren't exactly like, like distributed well on the burger. Like, not only was bacon on the side, I had like half the cheese slice out the side as well. Bad distribution. So I think on a scale of one to five, I'll give that a solid. Solid three, no more or less. Burger was good, fries was good. The uh, fries was a bit expensive, but at the same time, the patty was a better quality as well, so I think it's like right in the middle. All right, you, Caleb. You don't have to go into too much detail, but on a scale of one to five, you got the big one. First of all, was it good? Would you order it again? And what would you rate it on a scale of one to five? It was pretty good. I will say the patty was very good quality for a theme park burger. Normally, it's like these little flimsy patties, not much meat, not much thickness to it, but that is some good meaty patty. The yeah. toppings themselves were also pretty good. Like Owen said, they were a bit thrown on. Not like, I got the leading power of big burger, not the leaning burger. I will say, like, theme park burgers, I would, if I had to get a burger, I would say this place probably good choice. I'd say like a 3.5. On the Richter so, scale. So, solid three. Yeah. I'm going to give it right there. So now, now it's up to what you have, what um, everyone in the That's pool Volcano is. Bay. That's not even the right icon. Hooray! So here we are in Volcano Bay, having Woo! a witch's burger. <laughs> well, we're going to use it anyway, because I don't have
accidentally reprint. We're going to accidentally reprint. We have no three scale uh, for a Universal for some reason. So I hate it. Sorry. We have better expectations. We never gave it a three. So we're going to keep it in bulk Um Mushroom Swiss Burger, $16.99 for a burger and fries. A little price. It does have uh, the burger, lettuce, and tomato, mushrooms on it, Swiss, a uh, little sauce, little aioli on it. Um, I was waiting for that yell. Um, I'm not a big mushroom fan, but I do like mushroom Swiss burgers. It all has to be how it's done. Uh, mushrooms had a little bit of a chomp to them, a little bit of a texture, um, and uh, overall it looked good. It was a good thick burger. It was uh, it was moist, it was juicy, it was dripping. Use as I was eating it, so I had to make sure to eat it up to the plate. Made a little bit of a mess in the long run. I did add a little bit of mayo to it just to kind of help balance it out. Uh, overall, very good flavor. Um, biggest problem is just seventeen dollars for a burger and fries. Uh, I mean, I know it's theme park, um, but. Uh, That'll get you, and if you uh, you add a drink to that, I mean, you're talking easily twenty two bucks. I keep, I keep, I forget, twenty two dollars for lunch. Forget that. See, we we already have our drinks, which makes a big difference. But um, if we didn't, if we didn't, we'd have to pay five bucks more. Imagine, right? imagine if no one, like you had a family of five, no one gets a drink, and they just got a burger. That would still be very expensive. Yeah, that'd be somewhere near like seventy to eighty. Well, like I said, that's why I said in the beginning, it was fifty one dollars after tax for our three burgers. So no pricing. Um, Burgers were okay, but you know, a little, little on the high side, but it happens. So, just not, not to deter you from buying lunch, but honestly and truly, the reason that I mentioned that is because I want you guys to be prepared. I want to make sure you guys know if you're going to come to Rickers, it's going to be a decent burger, but it's going to cost you a little bit more. So just be prepared, not to be caught off guard. I can tell you one thing: coming from a theme park dad, especially if you're kind of low on funds, if you get caught off guard. It takes away from your enjoyment if you worry about um, spending way too much for my family's meal, making sure you have enough for your vacation. So it's good to know kind of about how much it's going to be. Uh, but overall, uh, mushroom Swiss burger, I'd still give it a very solid Volcano Bay. Four out of five. Four out of five. Wait, wait, wait. I got a universal one before. You guys messed up. You chose a three, and I don't have one of those. But no, I'll give it a good four out of five. I like the mushroom Swiss. Still, little touch, you know, having to pay 17 bucks for the burger does kind of hurt a little yeah. bit. So. Now that we're done, I feel like the only thing about that before we have the stream and hopefully <laughs> before we still have battery power um, is to check out the tribute store. Let's right? go check out the tribute store. We, um... We are having some problems with battery today, so I don't know if we're going to be able to do this on live. Finish the trick or seat. We, we may, but we, we, we got to show way. you guys what it looks like, at least in the one part. Yeah. So you guys, when you're coming here, like Kristen, if you go back and watch this, get yourself a trick or seat map. Have some fun doing it. It's kind of fun looking for the hidden boo. I'm glad that they Honestly, did that because Universal, the Universal, I like that Universal, and that's not only provided a challenge, but in case they're not up to that challenge, you also have a different route for still completely scattered. You don't even have to look for the uh, blue. You just have to look for the sign if you don't want to go too, too bad. Um, okay, back up and chat. Mm. Isn't it nice to have a, you know, a little uh, spread out review so we know every, what everybody's thinking? Good, thank you so much. Um, and I'm checking something real quick. Again, thank you to Anonymous earlier. Anonymous for the PayPal uh, helped us offset the cost of today's lunch. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much uh, for that, Anonymous. Uh, and I'd also like to say before we talk about tomorrow, yesterday, we got a PayPal yesterday. I couldn't see it because my phone died. And it wasn't charging back because we weren't we weren't in live stream mode. I I didn't expect to do a big live stream, so I didn't have it prepared uh, to be much more than just a check in with you guys. Uh, it wasn't until after the stream was over um, that I noticed that um, we got a 
very, very generous PayPal uh, from Roxanne yesterday. Uh, and she said, um, go shopping. Go shopping for you and the kids. And um, that was extremely nice. Thank you so much, Roxanne. And uh, we, we might have done just that. Uh, I can't tell them what they got yet. <laughs> Wait, but, did you get something for like future holidays? And you've been made of. But we did get him some hockey and. Yeah, I was about to say the only reason I brought that up is I was about got, to show. We got him a few treats um, just to come home with. <laughs> I was I was about to joke about uh, thank you for the PayPal. We got them a box of hockey. They got a box of hockey. <laughs> That, I, I mean, know, like either treats. way, we're still thankful. They got for some it. other cool things as well. They just haven't seen them just yet. Thank you but, for the PayPal. Now I have a giant statue in my room of Goofy having the biggest pose you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> we bought Disney art. Um, so, but uh, just for that yesterday, and since I wasn't on, I'm getting to see it yesterday. We just got a PayPal yesterday. We just got a PayPal yesterday. We just got a PayPal yesterday from the Magic Group yesterday. Thank you so much, Roxanne. Greatly appreciate that. Now, tomorrow, guys, uh, what the enemy is bringing up, tomorrow's stream uh, is was set to be uh, undetermined because we were going to let you as the Magic Crew decide where we go. Um, and how we were going to do it is the Magic Crew cast. You are part of our Magic Crew cast here. Your name is in green. We were going to let you guys choose our location for tomorrow. And okay. Mayo, he wants mayo. Don't you dare try again. Um, <laughs> mayo, mayo. Stop throwing mayo at your brother. Uh, so we put up a community tab uh, poll earlier this week, letting all of you guys who are in the Magic Crew cast go in and vote on where we're going to stream tomorrow. Will it be Epcot, Animal Kingdom, or Hollywood Studios? And uh, thank you, Naomi, for reminding me. We were going to let you guys know today what that poll uh, was. And uh, I'd love to hear from you guys who are members of our YouTube panel and uh, membership program here. If you guys enjoy something like that, if you'd like to have more options to do stuff like that, let us know. We'd love to be able to, to uh, put that together and allow you guys to do just that. So let's look at our community tab. And 223 votes were in. Let me actually refresh just to make sure. Refresh! Make sure anybody votes in here like in the last few minutes, it gets counted. It is, nope, 223, that's our final. And with twice as many votes as either of the two parks. Second to none. A very clear winner at 52%. It's Epcot. Hooray. We're going to Epcot. You've made it to Epcot. Every second ride, Guardians of the Galaxy again. Guardians of the Galaxy. The best ride in the, I think it's the best ride down here. Okay, let's put the clear ride pin next to him. I can. We'll put the harness on him. Like, I'm not even, like, it's not even a hyperbole thing. It's easily my favorite ride in the entire area. Awesome. And Dad can't ride it right now. Oh, look. You can thrill ride. Like, any thrill ride is good. But Guardians of the Galaxy is an experience. It is good. So tomorrow, guys, we will be streaming from Epcot. So come join us. Thank you to the Magic Crew for everybody voting in that poll and uh, being a part of it. So. Box. Who's heading out? James! Thank you so much, James. Have a good one. Joseph had a pork and onion sandwich with cheddar and barbecue sauce. Sweet. Um, I will say this, Doc Hudson yesterday, she said, yes, there are some issues with the fluid, but you have done everything right. She's like, you've done it. And she, the, Extremely good job of following orders and doing what you were supposed to do. This is not something you could have avoided in that way. So she's very happy with what we did. Um, so she has very good bedside manner and letting us know that this extra problem and this extra thing is not something that we imposed upon ourselves. 
Matter of fact, Susan even brought up that I rode pirates on Monday. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. As if. <laughs> Stop throwing the mail. Are you throwing objects at my eye? No, he uh, did. Oh, all right. Owen. He. He. Stop, he, he. Hey, Doc. I got a ketchup packet in my eye. No. Is that good or bad? <laughs> um, but no, um, the idea that riding pirates, and she looked at me, she looked at me, she goes, riding pirates is not going to cause any issues with that. It's fine. So. So I, I, I was going to say before you came at me, should I put this in your backpack okay. so we don't lose this? Sure. Do that. I can't, I, I can't really put it in my backpack or pocket without like crumbling it or like... We could end up in the same park all the time. We'll have to, we'll have to put some, we make a change what we do and how we do it. Um, but uh, I But in these days, we're going to just switch up the schedule on you. We're just... We'll switch it even, up. We'll make it different here and there. We'll put, uh, you're, you're, we'll you're put like a sport doctrine and then she's like... I'm gonna expect this to be a go to We're just gonna go to another park just because we can. Or just well, all the options will be not barbecue, not barbecue, not barbecue. Honestly, that should be our proposal. Barbecue, 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 not barbecue. barbecue. Um, oh, you wanna help me out? <clears throat> <This. clears throat> me, 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 me. Okay, beaker. Me, 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 me. That's pretty good. Oh, we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. Now the earthquake. That's an earthquake again. Oh no. What have you done? What have you done? Earthquake! Oh no, earthquake! Look up, look up, look up! Oh no! You triggered the apocalypse. Watch the bell, watch the bell. So, uh, Lauren B. just tipped twenty dollars in case you want to buy a passport for World Showcase tomorrow. Sweet, thank you so much, passport? Lauren. Yes, I have the passport to back now. You know the kid top passports when you go around, you get stamped. Oh, yeah. They came back about middle of August. I see. First time in very, very long time. So. You have to buy them now. Yes. Well, I, I mean that that one, the one that comes with all the special stuff. You can still get a kit cut, whatever. But the, the actual passport is uh, something you can buy. It's like $14.99, I think it is. So thank you so much, Lauren. Greatly appreciate that. Um, I just realized I still have my hospital bracelet on. I do. I still have my hospital bracelet on. It's part of you now. Um. I guess it works. You guys ready to go check out the um, uh, the tribute store? Yeah, it's been shopped at the tribute store. I want to know, could there be a future poll with a choice between Universal Islands of Adventure or Volcano Bay? Could be, or or we can get you guys to choose which hotel you guys like us to go and do later on. If we're going to go and do a hotel tour or go see the, the Christmas decorations, we are not doing, we're not going to do any more resort tours now until November. We're going to take a hiatus. Technically, summer is over. And so and during the summertime, we like to do a resort tour every week. Summer is officially over. We're going to take a little bit of a break. Starting back in November, when the Christmas season starts back up, we're going to start hitting the resorts again to see all the Christmas decorations. So but we uh, can definitely put something like that in there as well. All right, you guys ready? Oh, Owen, guess what? You see that lightning bolt, that electric bolt? The, at the bottom of that, doesn't that look like a Mickey? No, I don't see it. You don't see the three circles? I don't see three three circles. circles. Below, the Below the pole. Right there. Put your fan, put your hand on it. Put your hand on it. Down. Over. The other way. Uh, there, right there. Put your hand on it. Boom. Three circles. Yeah. To the, to the left. To the left. Right, no, left, 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 left. The one on the other left. The one underneath the pole. Back to the right. You take it back pole. now, y'all. Go back to the to back to the right. Two hops this time. Boom. Two hops. Touch. Three. There's three circles right there. I don't see it. Are you talking about the lightning? Yeah, the little lightning thing there. And there's three circles. There's three shapes. I'm not sure circles. Well, yeah. they're circleish. It looks like a hidden Mickey to me. 
Their pattern recognition. There's one over there too on the other side by the uh, crumbling asphalt. Your pattern recognition has yeah, done you wrong, Dad. I saw it. All right, floaty is out of commission right now, so we are going we're to. On, we're on, we're on, we're on time. We're on borrowed time with the fuel rod. So let's, let's get going. Let's act like a uh, universal dog and do whatever universal dogs do. And Santa's little helper. I was, I was gonna just show, show like a secret life type show, but sure, yeah, I got that for <laughs> Let's do it, but universal dog and max it out. Uh, if that would require you to remember to make a life of head. This is gonna be really hard. Okay, hey, don't forget my drink cup again. Love me too. All right, we need the exit. Where's the exit? Uh, exit this way. Yeah, when it gets really busy, they um, they they make people not come in this door. You have to come on the exit this way. Mm -hmm. So there is a thirty percent chance of rain today. And it, is it was sprinkling when I went out to use the restroom and wash my cup out. That looks like a rain cloud to me. All right, let's go check out the tribute store, guys. Thank you to everybody in the Magic Crew hanging out with us today. Thank you for hitting that thumbs up button. And uh, when we started today, I haven't looked here recently. We're very close, guys, to hitting uh, 26,200. And if you guys are watching with us for the first time today, we'd love it if you take a couple of seconds and hit that subscribe button. I think it'd be cool to have a horror movie that's like the day the rain came back. It's like all you have all the days of rain, rain, go away, come back another day. It hasn't the rain been finally came back. We haven't had a lot of rain, rain. Yeah, at this point, we are a easy dozen away. One dozen away, one dozen Magic Crew members away from hit. Woo! Yeah, lots of pigeons, lots of pigeons, always at Universal. It's funny because you see them here at Universal, especially in the New York section. You know what you don't see at Disney? Pigeons. Yeah, when's, the last, got the pigeons. when's the last time they you've seen a pigeon at a Disney park? They you don't. Universal's with a full mile of pigeon technology. <laughs> you don't see that any place else. Yeah. Pigeon's house next year. Okay, okay. Sweet conference coming up. Get a chance to go to HHN. Some Universal. Some Disney. Hey, hey Naomi, you know what they're doing over here? It's starting to rain. You know what they're doing over here? What? They're setting up the lines. The for your, uh, your, uh, your, uh, your screaming, uh, your stay and scream. Yeah. All the queue lines they put in. If you stay and scream, if you get in early, you can jump into the HHN houses before general admission opens up front. So we saw the first, um, um, Earl Easter egg, and here's the second one. It was like the first thing I saw when I came in here with mom and dad. Which just the Earl. Featuring the velvety voice of Earl described. Look at the name of the voice of Yeah, it isn't. <laughs> look at the side, look at the songs that are on side one. Spooky, scary Christmas lights. You know, it's about Halloween, Tim, Tree, Read the last one. Grim grinning Earls. Oh my goodness. Grim grinning Earls. Come out to like... merrily. 
That is like, like, that, is, girls. Girl, that is like on the barrier of Disney coming over and like knocking on their door. I love the way they, they know. I love Universal there. when they do stuff like that. They have get out their mallet. no problems whatsoever. Bonk. So we got some more comic books over here too. So you said um, the uh, B side is. That's cool. That's one reference to one of the past houses. Is there this another is, here? That's one of the other houses from last year. Curse of the Terrible Toad Host. Something should remain buried. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm looking. You know how it's hard for me that's, to see all the details. Oh, that's, I was about to... That's Shriek. I was like, is that Shrek? No, it's not Shriek. It's not Shrek. They should have made a Shrek horror comic book to put on the shelves. That would have been hilarious. Donkey looking terrified. It's all ogre now. <laughs> that was good, dude. That was good. Not all ogre now. I love it. I just shred something. So each, this may be my favorite tribute store. This, this, all tribute stores have their own theme song. And in this tribute store, you're going through like different stories of a comic book. And each like room has its own story. Like throughout the wall is decorated. Universal Trilogy of Terror. It's, it's a really, it's really well done. It's tonight's first tale of terror. We find ourselves on Hollow Hill Cemetery on an appropriately creepy evening. All right, now this is the. Uh, I want to show you the backpack. I think Liberty would get a kick out of this one. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. So, can you Here, hold it to model for me? Or, so, there's the little boo backpack. And inside, behind the backpack, is a crow, and he's attached. <gasps> oh my goodness! Full power. Crow, crow coin purse. It's a crow coin port. And look what's in the crow's. I But just kind of. It's crow with one eye. <laughs> it's crow with one eye. Do doom doom. Where's the back one? It's got Halloween Horror Nights on the side. This is not a lounge fly. This is this is a backpack made. So it's it's a park made. And what is the back? There's nothing on the back. It's just plain. Oh, it's just plain. Yeah, so it's only on the side. The only thing I don't like is I don't like the straps. The straps are just kind of regular like straps. But all of the shelves are like those little comic book advertisements for like hypno goggles. Yeah. That's so. funny. It is a cool backpack. It is kind of cool. And Handsome Pete, this is exactly what it is. It feels very much like Creepshow. Everything about it. I mean, look. It's very Creepshow-esque. No, that can't be. Oh. Ah, really? Ah. Oh. I feel like he... Yeah, that's what I say when, like... A zombie comes out of the grave. I was just trying to rock. Ah, uh, ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, He said, "Oh, okay. Ooh, ah. Uh. Um, Ooh, what about um? Magic. Ooh, magic. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, and piece of candy." The end of this story. Of course, this looks familiar. I've seen this somewhere before. Hmm. Welcome in, Tyler. There you go. Hang on. <laughs> Jump in there, Caleb. All right. No, look at me. Look scared. No, scoot over just a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Okay, hey, look really scared. No, scareder than that. All right. Um, imagine you're going to have to pay for your own utilities from now on. Oh, come on. Pay, you have to pay rent. Next year, you have to pay taxes. I thought I, you, I'm not gonna do faces. I thought you I would be scared. I thought you'd face. be more scared than that. I have resting poker face. It's hard for me to do that. 
So these guys are a little spooky. So here's some of the uh, magnets they're gonna have. Really good for resting in peace. There we go. <laughs> Oh, or if you get one with Chucky on it, resting in pieces. Oh, okay. That's it. Right. <laughs> now we're going. Uh, we're going further into the comic books. Everything's noir. False Idols Part One: A Boris Shutter Welcome in, Marianne. Adulting is scary, Stacy. I thought they would be a little more scared. I can't do faces like that. Like I, I can't. Oh, it's raining in here. Oh man. Oh, and I thought it was only thirty percent. What's this? <laughs> What's the scariest thing you could think of? Ooh, a brother. He's canny. Ooh, he's canny. Surely does feel good in here. Now you can't get masks here. But you can now wear them in the park. Yeah, you can buy them, but you can't wear them. Yeah, you can buy them, but you have to wear them. Is that a bat mask? I think this may be a cat skull. No, 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 It's the bride of Frankenstein. Schuster. I. You better talk stalking, lady. How did you get this thing? I wish I could talk like those people back from the 40s. Hey, see? Yeah. Where'd you even get that thing? Makes no sense. We're gonna get to the bottom of this, you know. Ooh. I love these. Coasters! Why do I love coasters so much? Change your things for it. I got the coaster. Coaster, coaster, co coaster. Oh, big it's. Huh? Oh yeah, also Chithu's in the, the doorway, but you know, no. forget about that, Finnegan's. Finnegan's okay. Bar and Grail. It's like somebody opened up the idol. Oh, you're good. <laughs> oh, the pumpkin guy. Hmm? The pumpkin guy underneath the glass. I don't know who he is, but it's really fun. Wait, what? That goes nothing, kid. Hey, this has to be my favorite room out of the floor. Nothing worse than getting put on the spot when you ain't got the goods. Can't wait to see how Boris gets out of this one. Wait, are those are those idols being sold right here? Real NY souvenir. 
This stuff we use are cursed. Well, I, right. I, I'll, I'll give it to you for uh, fifty nine. For a steal, yeah. They should have sold some of those. Like I know it's like only in the tribute store, but that would be a fun little. So what you got, thing. Shay? So they normally in this, um, they usually have when this tribute store is open, so kind of like a photo opportunity, and then not only can you buy the photo, but they also display it up in here. And this year, comic book have covers. Comic book covers that you you plan to. It was ninety four dollars. Um, you get choice of like three covers, four covers. Oh my god, the dogs! <laughs> and you can have your image put on the front of the comic now. book. The pugs. Some people had their dogs in the in the photos. This is funny. Uh, and then after the tribute store closes, you can come by and pick up your comic book for you to keep from then on. What? What is that? Well, where else would you? That is, you chicken. I don't know. Oh, and there, there's a cat. Somebody paid a hundred dollars to have their cat in the picture. Dude, I don't want that cover. That's sick. Cat of Cthulhu. <laughs> cat Cthulhu. Cat Cthulhu. Cat Cthulhu. Yeah. <laughs> oh, somebody put their dog in. <laughs> that dog has seen some things. Not Fido. Probably, probably the devil streamer. <laughs> he called me a bad boy. 43rd Street and 41st Avenue to talk like that. <laughs> this would be like a chunk of his head missing. That's funny. Photo cut out, just his head. So here's the third of room and story. Oh, hi. Tony's like, I'd pay money for a lampy comic book. We were uh, so I had actually planned, I don't know if you guys knew this, I had actually planned on coming and having a comic book made with me mm -hmm. on the cover and then giving it away to one of our patrons for one of the monthly patron things, but ran out of time and you know, then I had to have eye surgery. That didn't help. So it's strange right, there's the Usually they have any um, food items near the very end of the trip. Store. Sometimes they put it in here. It's but, been a couple of times they put it in here too. Yeah, but uh, this time it is. A little bit of a line here for the dessert, so we're gonna stuff that one through. Oh, these guys already got some desserts. Hey, you don't mind me asking, what did you guys get? Um, did you guys get anything from the dessert treats? Just, oh, uh, never mind. However, yes, man. I think this guy was uh, probably been sitting here waiting for Tron to open. I don't see any of the Hello Kitty bags. But I do see uh, the Hello Kitty shirts in here. Welcome in, Max! And it really is a comic book. It really is. When you're done, you get the full comic um, as a souvenir for afterwards. Yeah, it just didn't work out. Welcome, my friends, to the White Chapel District of London. The year is 1888 and I have a fiend I would like to introduce you to. Eyes of the Ripper. The Ripper. Yeah, the you want to get a piece of paper? The Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> this place is really good. Cool. I feel like the first, this place is like, Trivia Store has each of the sections. Kitty Chuckies! <laughs> guy's been waiting for service for a long time. He must have... He was, uh... 
Where is that place we used to get uh, hamburgers at in Atlanta all the time? With the little thin burgers? Steak burgers? They were, no, steak, they served steak burgers, steak and shake. Every time, well, we used to, but then we started going and then it would take like an hour to get fed. We just stopped going because we had to wait so long for service. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to. That's the scariest thing in the entire trip so far. Yeah. There's like no contest. Look at that. Evil little thing. <laughs> if they still had it, unfortunately, I think they no longer sell them. They don't have enough time to produce them anymore. What's that? The store. That thing's terrifying. I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. What's, what makes you uncomfortable? That, I, uh, the pumpkin? He wants to be your friend. Oh. Oh. Yeah, sure. He's be friends with this metal bat. Yeah, the horror movie be like, yeah, you can smell that, I thought. Cool. Jasper W. just tipped $6.26. And why Thank is you. that important? Anytime we get a PayPal that has the number 626 in it is an homage and a recognition of our community here on the channel. Just like in Lilo and Stitch, 626 represents Ohana. And uh, thank you so much, Jasper. This one is for you guys. And when anytime someone donates anything with 626 in it, it is a recognition of how much they enjoy, love, and appreciate this community. So we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. Well, not from this guy. Thank you so much. What is with this guy? If he jumps out of me right now, I am so falling over and dropping this thing. Well, um, oh, thank you for pointing that out. That's a machete. Um, the first time, uh, the first time that I ever came to a Halloween, not, not, not an HHN, but a Mardi Gras tribute store, I didn't know what the tribute stores were like. And there was this dude dressed up as a voodoo witch doctor. And I'm like, he looks so real. I'm like, I, I wouldn't get near him because I thought he was a real person. I was waiting for him to jump out at me. So, Jasper, thank you so much for the $6.26. The first Mardi Gras tribute store was really the site of And thank you to everybody for being such an amazing community and uh, for taking care of each other like you guys do. You guys are awesome. Here's our place to pay. We slip out of the tribute store. It's a, it's a cool one this year, I like it. I love, I love the last thing. Wait, wait. Wait, is that Lady Gaga? Wait. Wait, no, no, no. It wasn't anonymous. It was, it was, wait, did we get another one? Because that was Jasper. Oh, oh, coming through. Woo. New merch. Okay, so this is where I was looking for earlier score users. Hey, Pam. Yeah, they usually put the uh, I was not things to like the store. next section or the next next season. But no, it's not in here. Not this year. Or it may be, it may be hidden in there. How you doing, Pam? And I missed it, but we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the magic crew someone just tipped an anonymous tip of ten dollars to the community thank you so much guys oh it's windy greatly appreciate that thank you guys for being so supportive and allowing us to come on a daily basis here every weekday to the parks and spend time with you guys as a community so thank you guys for the support we will we will never demand, we will never beg for support. But the fact of the matter is we have so many people who 
generously just make donations and make it easier for us to, to bring you guys content from the parks regularly. It's, it's you guys that enable us to um, bring you this content and this information that will help you when you come. So we thank you a lot. We hope it's helpful. We hope yeah. it's entertaining, but we hope also that it's positive, uplifting, and uh, leaves you with a smile on your face from year to year when you're done. So thank you. Ooh, that wind. I can feel a little bit of rain too. It's like a built-in fan mister thing. <laughs> it does feel like it. Oh, awesome. Jennifer says the anonymous was me. Just tipped $10. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I hope that these streams get you excited for your upcoming trip. Oh, it is starting to rain. Sprinkles. Now it's I don't have my feet. You need to start knocking on wood. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Rain! I'm checking the radar right now. Bingo, bingo. Dinosaur DNA. Where'd that come from? My brain doesn't need any help. It just does what it does. Thank you, Jennifer. It was that that bingo bango the whole um, the whole he said it's not that bad and then all of a sudden boom there you go it is bad. Even with the technical issues we had at the start throughout the stream and reach out, I feel like this has been a really good stream. I mean, we got through all the. We only did a little bit of the of the of the hunt. Um, the question is, would you guys like us to hold on to the map and we can look for the rest of them on our next trip to Universal? Yeah, we'll take you guys over to Islands of Adventure. Oh, it's starting to rain. Oh, it's starting to rain. Oh, it's starting to come down. Undercover. Why do you get out that brother? Uh, let's see if we can make it to the Universal Studios store. Okay. Is this starting to rain, rain? And the rain, rain, rain came down, down, down. Lisa wants to know, what do you think of the new Minions area? Um, I think it's cute. It does make it a little bit more cohesive. And honestly, the boys and I both really like the Minions Cafe. The, Cafe has the, best food. the food was pretty good. It was, uh, we were uh, pleasantly surprised at how well it was prepared and themed. Oh, it's starting to come down really heavy now. All right, let me gotta keep the equipment from getting wet. We're gonna run in. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, I'm gonna stop right here. Oh, here we go. Whew, it was, it's getting wet out there. What were you saying? I was gonna try and Whew. That works out. Welcome in, Uncle Lord Bark. I'm melting. I'm melting. Uh, good to hear it. Bay has to be some of the like like some of the most high quality food I've ever had in Cape. So here's the deal today, guys. Uh, we came into the park today, ready to stream. We found out that the uh, um, I keep forgetting what it's called. Thank the you not extension cord but basically the anchor block yeah. that everything was plugged in that we used to charge our equipment everything was plugged into the same cord the same block turned out that a fuse was blown in it nothing charged last light nothing charged uh so everything's been running off of whatever batteries we can grab here or there uh and we're down to our last because the battery itself did not charge either last night because it was on the same block uh, and we had no backup. So we didn't know that until we got here. So it's been a little bit of a challenge. Thank you guys for putting up with the, the complexities of live streaming when things happen. Um, but like we do everything else around here at Ear to Ear Magic, we keep moving forward. We keep on swimming. We smile through it and we do the best with what we've got. And we're glad that you guys can continue to do that with us on a regular basis. We're gonna go ahead and close on out for today, mainly because one, these fuel rods only allow for so much and eventually we're gonna run out of fuel rods. And two, it is starting to pour down rain. So we finished all of the little boo 
uh, for today here in this park. I think we're going to save the map and finish it out uh, for Islands of Adventure next time we come. I'm kind of looking forward to it because I had fun trying to find them just in the places here. I thought it was Universal did an amazing job this time of hiding a little boot much more than they've done in the past. So there's, there's, uh, there's come really, on in, Caleb. Some, some locations really made you think. Like hey, uh, that one like under the table was there. funny. So and the one, the one um, at the accent of the mummy blended in really well. Uh, Tony wants to know if he can hold on to 220 to see everybody's emergency oh, phone still. So, oh, yeah. That would um, be. You in the crowd. That would include the phone you're currently using. That would be the uh, phone I'm live streaming on, too. Yeah, maybe we uh, should not do that. So, <laughs> that might not be the best. So, um, and oh, we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew. I'm going to try to open my eye on this one. Oh, man. Thank you so much, Pam. What's that? Yeah, no. Oh, are you guys no, messing up back there? Are you guys? It's just a casual, casual thing around. Oh. Gotta watch out for them. Thank you so much, Pam. Thank you for again for you guys making it possible for us just to do this kind of stuff. Uh, have some fun in the parks and I'll let you guys be a part of it. Remember, it's never about us. It's never about what we do, but much what we do together. Uh, we always want to make sure that the focus is shared with everybody in the community. And if you guys are watching for the first time today, I want you guys to know the reason people give is because they they enjoy hanging out and being a part of this Magic Crew community. And uh, I promise you, you're gonna enjoy it too. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button today and be a part of it. And thank you guys so much for being so supportive of everybody who comes into here and hangs out with us here at Mag at the Year Magic every weekday. So thank you so much, Pam. It's good to see you today as well. All right, well, guys, I got to close on out. It is getting wet, and we are um, we're about to have an emergency broadcast come over in about 10 minutes, so uh, go hide your phones. Uh, <laughs> thank you, guys, for everybody for hanging out with us today. Have an awesome afternoon. Remember, guys, tomorrow we're going to be over in Epcot. You guys chose it over in the Magic Crew cast, so we're going to be in Epcot tomorrow with over 200, over 100 votes. Uh, we're going to be doing Epcot, so looking forward to it. So you guys have an amazing afternoon. Uh, here's the deal. If you guys still want to continue chatting, go on over to tomorrow's stream. If you're if you're still at work and you don't want to be by yourself anymore, uh, there are at least 200 plus people in here who could continue chatting with each other just by going over to tomorrow's stream and uh, hanging out there. And uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. So uh, until then, a couple of things to remind you when you guys are ready to come to Universal. And you want to do some of the things we're doing. Remember, it's not too long before the Christmas season starts. Earl the Squirrel is going to be here. The Grinch, Macy's Holiday Parade. You need to reach out to us and see if we can help you with the last minute trip. Send us an email over at uh, Susan Edwards at TravelMation.net. Copy me at Chris Edwards at TravelMation.net. Let us provide you with a quote. Let us help you book and plan your trip and help you execute it all the way through the process. And remember, we charge no fees whatsoever. There is nothing that uh, will keep you from having uh, a great vacation by having a travel agent being there to help you through the process. And hopefully we can help you find a really great deal as well. So send us an email today, Universal, Disney, Cruises, all-inclusive resorts, anything you can think of as far as your next family group or organization's uh, trips. We would love to be a part of that. So thank you guys for supporting our small business here at Travel Nation. Send us an email today if we can help you guys out. And then finally, as we close out for our community, remember to be a great community person in your own way at home and where you are at. Find somebody today, whether you know them or not, do three things. Share a laugh, share a smile, share a compliment for whatever you do. Be the sunshine in somebody else's day. Have a great afternoon, guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow or tomorrow morning in Epcot. Uh, and uh, we will see you in the parks. Thanks, everybody. Have a great one. We'll see you real soon. Are we still waving? Are we still waving? I think we are. I think we're waving.